So, James, what's up? How are you? What up, brother? How you doing? All good? Epis episode uh, 34, Bodybuilding Bollocks. And uh, Luke is not present. So me and you're me and you're gonna start without him. Just to he's gonna he's gonna be upset. He's gonna be he's gonna be hurt that we started without him. Uh, you know, you know, you know, fuck. He he fuck. acts like no, he, he he acts like he doesn't care, but he cares. He's gonna be so upset. He's gonna be real butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about um, we're talking about the post I just put up on Instagram and how I weighed like two thirty eight, yeah. and uh, that was like my favorite physique that I ever brought to the stage. Like, not as far as competition goes. But like mm. my personal look, like how I would have liked to have just stayed, yeah, like just as a just as a bodybuilder, right? Yeah, it was a, mate. It's a it was a bloody tidy look. Like you say, everything's. I'm not saying streamlined, but everything's in the right place, isn't it? And proportions are spot on. Well, my waist um, was small. My it, waist was smaller and everything too. And hey, what was your what was your waist there? Honestly, it looks tiny. Um, I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever had a small waist. You know, it's weird. I don't know if you've ever noticed this. Sometimes when I carb load, um, if I carb load properly, my waist actually gets tighter. Have you ever felt that? Yeah, yeah. You, you get like uh, the furnace feeling in your stomach. You get yeah. hungry. And it <laughs> feels, but it feels like you can just pull it like real tight. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, if, if, 50% of the time that happens, 50% it doesn't. <laughs> but I have to be, it's, it's so strange though, because I have to be carb loaded. Because if yeah. I'm not, if I feel flat, I almost like my obliques just kind of hang out. And I can't, yeah. tight, I can't tighten them all the way up. Almost like they need to be flexed, but they need carbs present to flex. It's very, very uh, strange because yeah. you, you would think the opposite. You would think if I don't eat, then I'll be tighter. How, how many times have you been in the gym during a prep and you're, you're, you know you're full, you know you've eaten a lot, or yeah. you've drank a lot of carbs, whatever. Yeah. And then when you do have a look at your physique, you're like, shit, I look awesome. My waist looks wicked. Yeah. Yet you feel full. And that's kind of the thing you get scared of having that feeling of stage. Yeah. But often, maybe maybe it is when you look best. I, I know some of my best looks is when I'm probably more conscious. I'm like, oh god, you know, what? I feel a bit heavy in the mid. But yeah. Everything's popping. Yeah, like, yeah, in a yeah. Good way. Yeah, no, I know yeah, what you mean. It's, it's, it's messed up. It's very strange. I I can't seem to replicate it. Like it it happens by accident. And that was one of the yeah. that was one of the shows that post I put up. That was one of those shows, like I was so full and you can see it in my chest and shoulders, like everything's yeah. really, really full. But for yeah. some reason, it, it was it allowed me to pull my stomach all the way in. Do you think that's because of like you, the, the, the specific preparation into that show was a certain way? Like how did you spend the diet? What was your process of getting into shape? You know, was it a oh, low fuck. carb diet? Did you carb load heavy? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was with Chad Nichols then. Chad would like have me on like... <sighs> Chad would have me on like 50 grams of carbs for like a week straight and yeah. two hours of cardio and I would be real depleted. And then he would go like one day he would look at my body and go, okay, take the whole day off. And I would say yeah. the whole fucking day I go, do you know how much I can eat? And he goes, I don't care what you eat. Take the whole day off. Mm. So I would take the whole day off. I'd put on like 15 pounds. I would eat like you would no idea. It was gross. Like I just binged the whole day. Yeah. And I would wake up the next Man. day 15 pounds heavier, but full as fuck. Like everything was filled right out. And Man. then a day after that, after my stomach came back down, I looked awesome. Yeah. And we did that. Do you think another thing? Go ahead. I was just going to say, do you think another thing is because it was one of your earlier shows? Do you think the body gets away with more earlier? Like it seems that earlier in your career, you can do certain things, you get away with it, but there is, there is a threshold and there is a time. You know, we get to like, late 30s whatever it may be and things just don't go back to where they were yeah. like it's just the way it is do you think that might be part of it i 100 percent agree with you it's uh i feel like that's the genetic part to the genetic aspect mm. and the age aspect right so i've always yeah. said to people uh, there's certain bodybuilders i won't name but they yeah. don't seem to change with their age they just yeah. keep doing the thing they did when they were 22 yeah and <coughs> You can't, your body's not going to react the same at 40 as it did at 22. No, and so, you can often tell. Yeah, like I could, I could binge a whole day when I was 22, and I'd wake up so, the next day and I'd be totally fine. Yeah, and, I was uh, the same for my 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 young preps. You know, when I was a junior bodybuilder, oh God, I literally diet for six days, have a whole day off every week. Yeah, and uh, I'd, and the day off would be maybe Sunday, and I'd probably be lighter by Tuesday. Yeah, that's you know? what I mean. it's crazy. Consistently. Yeah. yeah. 
I know. I miss those re- days. <laughs> yeah, no, I tell me about it. Um, oh. The reason I, the reason I brought it up though is you're still what, how old? Thirty. Thirty-one. Yeah. So you said to me just before we hit record, you said to me, "If only we we could go back and do things differently." And I, <laughs> the reason I brought it up is you're ten years younger than me. You still can. So in your plans to to climb the ranks in the IFBB, are you thinking, I just want to polish up what I have, or are you thinking I got to get as big as I can? Uh, it's quite down the middle. I, I need 10 pounds. I do need 10 pounds. Genuinely need 10 pounds. How much, do you, weigh right now? How much do you weigh on stage? Uh, 255 normally, roughly. Can I tell you, I just, and I'm not saying you're, I'm not saying you're wrong at all. I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always said, I just want 10 more pounds. I need to... <laughs> of course you fucking did. And it is I like... No, but, 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 but this, this, this is, this is from analyzing every pro show I've done and knowing what I keep missing. And like, because for me, I can get in, I can get even harder than I have been on stage. But if I do, I get even smaller. Yeah. So I need more muscle. I do need muscle. That's and true. It's just the bottom line. Just ten pounds of muscle. I know it sounds really just ten pounds of fucking muscle, but such a bitch you know, if, to get. If I'm, yeah, if that's what needs to be done, then that's the bottom line. Yeah, I just worry, man, because your physique is really nice right now, and mm. I think my physique at thirty was, you know, that that post I put up on Instagram. I was twenty eight years old there. Yeah. And um, that ten more pounds, man. If it goes to the Depends wrong, where it goes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it goes to the wrong places, you're like, oh, yeah. you're like, oh, fuck. And it's hard to come yeah. back from it, right? Absolutely. So you have, so you have to be very... areas once they blow out. What do you, what, where do you think you need the 10 pounds? Uh, arms, shoulders, upper back. Bit of well, that's a good thing, though, because you know what? For me, it was legs. So I had to do a lot of squatting and a lot of like, and I think that obviously that make you, yeah. contributes to the core, right? I think yeah, if you're because because I, I even personally I shy away from I shy away from um, squats even though I love squatting I do shy away from it on yeah. a frequency basis because I'm trying to protect my midsection. Yeah, yeah. If your uh, areas if your areas are arms and shoulders, then it's a little better because it's not like a, it's not the compound movements that are going to do it. Exactly. So exactly. it's not going to blow you out. What are you doing next anyway? What's what are you, what are your plans this year now that with the coronavirus? Uh, you know. I, I literally at the minute it's just I'm just focusing on that, just trying to put some muscle on. Um, I've I, I've just literally got a training plan from Patrick Tor four weeks ago, okay. and uh, I've, I've been doing that since this quarantine basically began, and it's been I have to say it's been fucking fantastic, and it's been a real refreshing uh, thing for me and my training, and it's it's stimulated some serious response, so I yeah. feel really good. So, so I'm just riding it. I'm riding that wave in a minute. I got to ask you, weren't you, yep. you were with Phil Viz and then you went to Chris Aceto yep. and, now you're, and now you're with Patrick Tour. What happened? Nothing happens. I'm just, I like to, I'm just a man that likes to learn. So I like to go around and see what's what, quite People, honestly. Like there's two, there's two ways to look at it, isn't there? There's the whole coach hopper, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Or there's, I have relationships with multiple people that I like and I respect. And why not, why not converse with many of them and, try things out you know i'm just all about trying things out and then, yeah you know you try things sometimes it feels perfect sometimes it doesn't and if it doesn't feel perfect there's no harm in just saying you know what try something else that's yeah. the fun of bodybuilding yeah you know? no, like I, you. i'm like you I'm, i don't feel like i can be stuck somewhere yeah yeah i don't disagree with you at all I, and that's yeah. it's kind of a negative connotation people give to it like oh he's switching yeah. coaches but it's like i kind of feel the way you feel i'm like well okay i learned what like chad's doing let me try and learn like what Hani's doing. You know what I mean? And then I was like, let me see what Chris is doing. And I kind of want to see what all the fuss was about. So I would try all these different people. Absolutely. And and you know yourself, like in time, you find where you feel like you should be. You're back now. So you're doing John Meadows again. Yeah. Me and John are comfortable together. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you you go around because you're trying to just work things out. Mm -hmm. Bodybuilding is constantly trying to work out a formula. And you know, there were certain things about when I worked with Phil that I loved certain attributes to his, his coaching. And what I found is that when I spoke to, obviously, with Chris, it's very different. And then when I spoke to Patrick, Patrick mirrors a lot more of what Phil was like, which is okay. actually more what I like, yeah. but on a different kind of scale where I feel like the relationship could be a better one. With um, Chris? And I, uh, with, with Patrick, because I feel that Patrick's more like me okay. as a person. 
He's very passionate, very, um, you know, he missed, listen, he gave me training. Yeah? He gave me my training plan. Didn't even ask to coach me or nothing. Yeah. Um, just done me a training plan at first. And every single that day, pretty much, he was WhatsApp me. He just said, how's the training going, mate? Is it going well? Are you enjoying it? Is there anything you want to change? You know, he, was, he was reaching out to me daily, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And that passion and that, that, that kind of like encouragement, when I see that in someone, I find it hard then not to like want to uh, pursue that, that relationship. Well, you always I want your, like, you always want your coach to believe in you. That's like the first thing. A- absolutely. It's like, a, it's a, you know, I, I, you probably the same. I don't know, but I find it very easy to kind of uh, find role models because I didn't have a dad around. So when, when someone comes forward, that cares about my progress. It's a male. It sounds really weird, but I kind of do latch on a little bit, especially no, if they're a little it. bit older. Yeah. yeah. It's just like this. I kind of weigh towards them. And, uh, Certain things about the way that Patrick was reaching out to me made me feel really comfortable. And like where there's a little void in my life for that, he kind of filled it in a different way, which felt for me fantastic. And I wanted to pursue it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like it could sound, that could sound crazy to some people, but just, no. you know, it's all about how you feel. No, it um, makes that's sense. exactly, yeah. You got it. You got to You got it. I, I think the mental aspect of a coach is just as important as how smart they are physically. Hi, Luke. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> you sexy bugger. We, me and James are waiting for you since you're a little late so we decided to start hope you're not upset that's, that's fine you can you can carry on i'm fine you see that i'm a bit annoyed, a bit annoyed that i've rushed yeah. now because I've, le- I've left my shake downstairs and my bottle of water so i'm sat here parched and wasting away <laughs> <laughs> just text your your wife to order, send it up, I, it up. I, think I think she's in the toilet well go get it and come uh, back all right Hey. That's, how, that's that's how you speak to a woman. All right. <laughs> very very British way. Princess. Very British way. Did you know, did, James? Princess. Did you notice? You notice the underlying uh, underlying annoyance that we had started. Oh, of I noticed the underlying. Uh, I'm not annoyed at all. <laughs> I'm not annoyed at all. I'm annoyed at myself for being for rushing for no fucking reason because I've left my shake downstairs. Now I've got to you too. disturb Sarah. Go go get you it. Too, we'll wait for you, man. It's gonna hold four. Check your phone, please. <laughs> Cheers. Can, you, can I just ask a question for you two? Why is it that this always happens? You know when, like, a woman calls upstairs to you, you can hear it? Always. Yeah? 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 Mm, you get this squad? I, I, I can't hear my wife ever. Oh, see, I always can. But then when I call from the same fucking stairs down, they never hear me. <laughs> that really for, fucking infuriates me. For same me it's, stairs. For me, it's the opposite. I can't, oh, I can't hear her ever. Yeah. That's when you put your headphones on. You're <laughs> uh, <laughs> old and deaf. Shut the fuck up. So listen, oh, it's because she doesn't talk to you. You know what, Luke? You're going to be pretty upset if you talk all this shit and then I show up like my former self. You better be careful because things are happening. Sorry. Things, things are things are sorry, things are, are happening. Gonna, are we going to? Are we sorry? Are we going to? Are we going to be comparing eardrums? What the fuck are you talking gonna, about? All right, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You can, <laughs> oh, I hope you fucking got. I we're going to be doing our side. We're going to be doing our side shots, and the judges are going to be looking in our ears. Is that what you think? Uh, happen? You are. You know what? Mate, it's, okay. I, it's okay. I hope you are a hundred percent. And if you are, if you're as good as you used to be, I don't think I can beat you. To be fair. No, that's not true. But I, I can, I can be, I can compare. I can compete with you if I oh, can be my old self. You're, you're, te- you're telling me like I don't know that. I tell you what it is. I give you shit. I, I give you shit and call you shit and say you're old. Just in the same way that I call Sarah a fat and you're a fat cunt as a joke. I know. Because she's I know. definitely not. I know. That's why I don't take it seriously. I don't but, know. It sounds like you are. Is that a tear? No. Tear? <laughs> you're right. Well, when I'm training, I usually, I'm, I'm, I'm like this. I'm like, I'm like, Luke, Luke, Luke. <laughs> just, like, just, Look how glossy his eyes are, James. It's because I just woke up. Fuck you, man. Nice excuses. Sleep, it's okay, friend. I think I've always thought you're from Omano, and I still do, mate. Um, no, uh, progress is looking good though. Not necessarily this arm. This arm is fucked. So well, that I've, picture you sent me the other day. You sent me a picture the other day, and man. you were saying how bad you looked. I did, and I was like, "You look fucking crazy good." What are you talking about? No, you're no, like, no, no, I look shit. And the, and the more I looked at it, I was like, "You look really good." Yeah. Yeah, but the progress, the progress from that. It's been a week, and I, I think the progress is even better now. I think things are, are finally. Any, so send me, send me. Have you got? Have you got any more pictures? Send me this. I'm not sending you anything. I'm just going to show up on stage and be like, "Hey, Luke." No, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see what you've done. Hang on. Uh, um, in the register line, in the line to register. Hey, Luke. Yeah. On the shoulder. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> You just call and it appears. Um, that, uh, that that look you were showing me just then—that is uh, that is what show was that for? What the show I posted? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Oh, that was uh, 2008 uh, Houston Pro. How did you do that? I took, man, that was the most devastating show for me ever because I actually thought, that was the first time I got introduced to politics. Yeah. Because I thought I should have been like third or fourth. Yeah. But there was some bigger names at that show that I, I knew I was better than them. And they were like, they put me in seventh. Was that your first year um, or what was the pro? Second, second year, second year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First year, in the early days. Yeah, I mean, you got to pay your dues, right? So I was... I feel so. I was really crushed until I like... Actually, it was a two-day show. Yeah. And uh, I think I've told this story before. I went outside after prejudging and I actually cried in the parking lot. Oh, shit. I was that... Because I thought I was going to get first call out. I'm like, I look awesome. I'm fucking shredded. It's, you know, I'm, I can do this. And then I got second call out and I was fucking devastated. Mm. and uh i cried for a little while then my wife called me a bitch and then i stopped <laughs> crying <laughs> and then and then we went for burgers and i so ate a bunch i ate a bunch of burgers and popped a diuretic that night and i woke up better the next day but i still only fucking managed the seventh so uh but i qualified for the olympia two shows later i did tampa bay i took fifth in tampa bay and then i took third at the uh, dallas and finally nice. qualified so oh, you know, nice. back in the day third used to be the quality used to qualify didn't it yeah yeah damn look me and you would have qualified for shows by now <laughs> at the Olympics. stop it stop it <laughs> oh, I, I would have in my first year no second year sorry well that was my yeah, second year yeah that was my second year yeah, I um, what i was gonna say is i can't remember um but i do want yeah, to go back to the go back to the politics you said about the bigger names and i was yeah. thinking about that exact thing the other day and i was thinking is it like agenda driven politics to people is that what people were referring to like they're bigger names so put them up higher or is it just like a human thing where because they know who they are they just automatically look at them first i think it's both think it, mm. sorry because I, I think one of them's it's preconceived it's an agenda and one of them's just because imagine you're a judge five yeah. of your mates are up there and five of your strangers you're likely going to pay attention to your mates yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think it's more what you just said there. I think it's more like just naturally you kind of sway. You know, like it's just a draw, isn't it? And if the, the, the names are attractive, yeah. your eyes just go to it. And I, I can imagine, like when I am at a show, if I watch a bodybuilding show, I'm always looking out for the names. I'm looking out for the people that I know. Yeah, and I imagine it's no different, really, for judges. I know that they do their best to try to not um, give in to that, but again, it's like you say, it's a human trait. Well, I think a lot. I think a lot of the judges. It's not just that they're familiar with the faces. A lot of the judges have actual relationships with the guys. So, like at that, that show, like at that show, for example, like Darum Charles was there, and Johnny Jackson was there. You know, these guys had built relationships with like Weinberger and whoever. And yeah, and I'm not saying I was better than those guys. I'm just saying like all the guys that were ahead of me all had built relationships. Yeah. So it's like you, you're the new guy on the block. You kind of got to take your. Take care yeah. of but, I mean, like I think my, point, my point was it wasn't because every judge has an agenda there's money being under the table yeah. they're yeah. doing yeah. favors yeah. I, it's none of that i think it's just because yeah. when you know the face you look at the face well, well it's I like, think... look, at, look at where luke is now like yeah. luke goes into a show now his name is going to be mentioned yeah and he will get a call out he will because yeah. they want to see him yeah it's just that isn't it it's just that. no I do think I do think there's a second. I didn't mean more on money though. I I do think there's a second part to it, which is, I think they actually want to make the younger guys work. Maybe. Like Maybe. they're like they're like okay, well, Darum. Like, I'm just using Darum because that's like one of the main names I remember from that show. Yeah. But you know, Darum's been a pro for eight years at that time or more, and I'm this is this new guy. It's a second year. We're not going to put the new guy ahead of Darum. We got to make him pay his dues a little bit. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when it's kind of like when Luke competed with Dexter. It's almost yeah. like even if Luke was better than Dexter, they're kind of like let's make him wait a year. You know, like that yeah. hap I think that happens, you know what I mean? I'll give you a perfect example. 2009, uh Dennis James was retiring and I did Tampa Bay. Me me and Ben did Tampa Bay. I think me and Ben were both better than Dennis at that show. Yeah. Dennis Dennis even admitted it to me like the next year at the Arnold's. He said, "Yeah, I think you should have beat me." They gave me second place, but I think it's because Dennis was retiring. Yeah. They're like, Dennis is going to retire. We're going to give him like an Olympia qualification and Fuad's going to keep on competing so he can get something later. Yeah. I think that, I think that kind of thing happens, right? Where they play that strategy a little bit. Maybe, maybe. I, I think it can do not like because bodybuilding again, it's not like a race. Is it the, the man who crosses the line isn't the winner. Yeah. It has that slight flexibility and it is a show. 
Mm -hmm. the, one, the one thing I will say is there's only real flexibility when it's close. If it's like yes. somebody's like, yeah, yeah, oh, this yeah, obvious, yeah, this obvious them, spot. Agendas yeah. don't matter. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, course, I, you don't often see that. Yeah. Well, well wait, wait a minute though. Wait a minute. I, I do remember. Actually, I do have to disagree with that only because that has changed a lot. Yeah. I, I think I remember some shows. Some. I'm not gonna say a lot, but some shows in the earlier part of my career, like in the, in the late two thousands, um, some of those, some of those were like, Holy shit. How did that guy win? Okay. Well t today, I don't know. No, 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 no. It's changed. That's kind, of what, that's kind of what yeah, I'm getting. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd love to know the shows. I'd love to know now. Cause I'm interested. <laughs> I remember, I'm not going to mention any names. I remember one oh, show. What? I can't, Come I can't, on. I can't just because it's not, not respectful, but oh. I, I remember one show hey, where, us, mate? Don't worry. no, no, <laughs> I remember one show where a sponsor and this this might just give it away I don't know but a sponsor was also a judge okay which doesn't make fucking sense because the sponsor okay. is the judge but the guy also has his athlete on stage that can't and then then his athlete wins and and everybody was like that nah that shouldn't happen yeah. so I think that, that was I, think the issue. Was, I think it was after that where they stopped letting sponsors judge shows yeah, that'd be That's like what Aaron. happened. That'd be like Aaron judging us. <laughs> oh, mate, imagine. <laughs> it'd be like, I'm <laughs> some of an impression. It'd be like, Mr. Olympia, straight up. Do the impression. Do it. I'm, no, because I, I nearly, it. I nearly, no, I nearly did it and sounded like Cookie Monster. You're really good. Because I've got a raspy okay. voice from training. I can't do it. So no. <laughs> um, before we got sidetracked, I wanted to ask you, uh, James, about Patrick Tour because all his guys have a have like a. They have a, a unique look. They're all very full, yeah. but they're not yeah. fat. He's a, he's a very, from my discussions with him, he's very just, oh, he's particular as fuck. So obviously, like when I used to monitor blood sugar with Phil, like things like that have a high, high expectancy, like keeping an eye on those kind of aspects. Give me specific, um, give me a specific, because I, I don't know what you're talking about. Probably nobody else does either. What do you mean? Oh, uh, so, you know, first thing, like if he's going to do you a diet, first thing he needs you to do is check, you know, blood sugar three days in a row off your existing diet plan. See where your body's at in terms of like sensitivity. That will dictate then where he would go with the nutrition from there. Most mm. of it, obviously, there's other factors as well, but quite simply put, that's that's the leading forefront of where nutrition would be. Yeah. Um, a high believer in uh, activity, you know, cardio and stuff like that. So just basically everything's like health related. If you look at the supplement list, you get. Like it, it, it would blow your mind, and a yeah. lot of people think it's override. Probably think oh, this is too much. Yeah. But I think because the guys that he works with are, I would say, healthy. The bodies look healthier, and they're able to stay in better condition, right? Because mm. obviously he works with Ian, he works with Nicholas Valu. Um, he worked, he prepped uh, Hyde when he won the 2000 and the Arnold Classic 212 that year, whatever yeah. year it was. Yeah. Um, it just keeps you, from my understanding, keeps you in a in a place that's just far closer to where you should be rather than us letting ourselves go in the off season. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes it's fine to let yourself go. And we've discussed this, the three of us before. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Luke, Luke, Luke says like slingshot and go and it works. Mm -hmm. Some people can do that. Some people can't. Um, I think with my mentality, keeping within a range seems to just be where I like to be up. Uh, and I know that the other guys are like, I know Ian's like that as well. You don't ever see Ian looking soft. Like Ian yeah, but, that. but, but, to, but just, just one caveat to that. You've already put on, the pretty much the bulk of your mass most of it yeah so yeah, you don't you don't have to get sloppy anymore you, you can no, just no, no, put on a little bit a little bit at a time you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. so but what what is like the food list look like is he using like same foods we always use like cream of rice and stuff like that or is same, he using same, same foods listen it's, 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 to be fair him and jordan peters are very similar luke's done seen what jordan does they're yeah. there it's all the simple stuff around training simple carbohydrates but he's very particular with supplementation things like essential aminos are like like when I say specifically time, like they're really specifically time where I even showed Jordan the plan and Jordan yeah. was just laughing like, fuck me, that's specific. But loved it at the same time just because he said to laugh up. Even when you take your tudka, it's like 5 p.m. tudka. Take your tudka at 5 p.m. It's got to be 5 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't, but you know, like that's the fun of it. So yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. really, really, really particular stuff. Huh. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm just anal as fuck. And I like to be anal as fuck. And I like to know what I'm doing and... Listen, I, I bodybuild for the intensity of it all, for the fucking sheer, uh, like, the have enjoyment. I, have I, I think I've missed something. Are you working with Patrick now? Yeah, Patrick, yeah, because you just came on after. So Patrick sent me my nutrition now. How close, are you, 
So you know, you know, like, what, 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 what? what are you, what are you, what do you guys, what do you guys talk about on all these live feeds? You don't know. He's been with them for four weeks. <laughs> uh, no, I've, I've been Patrick nutrition wise for four weeks. Been doing my training. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, he only sent me a, a diet through a week ago, literally not even a week ago, four days ago. Oh, okay. And, uh, okay. That's why that's news to him. But also because me and Luke just talk about fucking transformers and uh, rock music and other shit. So oh, okay. <laughs> you don't don't talk, me and Luke, we don't talk about fucking bodybuilding because it's not fun for us, like to discuss it. Because um, I, I had absolutely no idea about it. Th- this is live, so we've got news now. We've got news. But yeah, so in regards to like why and how and my mentality, it's just how I mentally function with bodybuilding. It has to be extreme and it has to be fucking. Duh, 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 duh. Otherwise, I lose my mind, especially during this quarantine. I Luke, can't. I need focus right now. Luke, are you like that? I don't see you like that. Uh, I'm, I do the same thing every day. So I've got my plan locked in. It's just nice and simple. I know, but like as far as like, um, like I've ha- I had one coach like that who was like, okay, okay, I, I've never needed to be like that to get. I haven't got to the point where I think I've got to try something else completely different. Like I've got to do the next thing, which would be that, or the, going with, with like Milos or something that I've gotten. Yeah. I've gotten away with just being extremely basic. Yeah. So I haven't. Yeah. I haven't had the need or want to just try something completely different because it's still working. Right. I'm probably the biggest than Linus have ever been in my life. Well, you've got that picture two days ago. Incredibly right? simple. Three, three weeks, no fucking training, and he looks like he's fucking hasn't had a day off. Yeah, I don't... Uh... <laughs> I've, I've been training about a week, well, a few days now. Well, I, don't yeah. think, I don't think I can do that kind of diet where like a coach will say, you got to do this at 11, you got to do this at 12. But, you do this but I, think, I think you could. I think if you'd exhausted all options, you couldn't fucking do it. And you knew if you just got that extra like that say the seventh gear because you're already in sixth gear you know now you gotta find that seventh one and it's every step up the ladder you've got to go it's harder like you're digging yourself further deeper into that hole yeah. i think if you knew that's what it took to do it that's what you do i don't well i think you're right but maybe not at this point not now not now but like yeah, but yeah. james if is, i james was 30 if i was 30 yeah maybe yeah yeah, yeah that's what i mean so yeah. if you're in james's position, yeah. position would you you'd yeah. absolutely would yeah my, my, my thing as well like Luke's like one of my, I consider Luke a very good friend. And I, I know that how long I've been doing the bodybuilding comparison, I've hit kind of a plateau. They, things have to change for me. I know they have to because I've evaluated what I've done and I've had a look. Luke's so responsive and still so responsive that why change anything? There is no point. Yeah. And that's the difference between where we're at because I started bodybuilding like, when did you start Luke? What year was it? 2012? Yeah, 2011. Is that, I was like five years before that. So. I'm kind of, although Luke's further in how, how well he's doing and he's a great bodybuilder, in far as what I've done with my body and things I've tried, I think I've gone a little bit further down the road. Mm. Therefore, I am a little bit further along that process where I, I, I do have to be fucking specific. To yeah. see any result, I have to be so anal nowadays. And um, it is what it is, you know? I don't, uh, I, I think everybody's going to grow at a different rate, right? Like I had a friend when oh. I was coming up, I had a friend who was coming up who looked like, he had a Sean Ray type physique, yeah. but he looked like he could have been a pro at 19 because even when he did turn pro at 2006, he was only a, a hair better than he was when, when he was 19. So yeah. I don't know if you can compare just cause Luke, you know, exploded in four years. That's the genetic part of it. Right. Like, yeah, there's always genetics involved yeah. and there, there'll be certain strengths to each individual in, in bodybuilding and what they can present. And, you know, unfortunately my, my thing is, my body doesn't seem to do well with things unless it's particularly structured. Yeah. Um, if it's a bit free willy for me, it doesn't really do what I want it to do. Do, do you not think, just saying back to Chris's diet, if he just put the times yeah. on the meals, you'd be different with it? No, it's, do you know what? For me, it's the silly things like macronutrients and like I have to, things like eating like specific vegetables and shit. Like there's certain things that happen with my body, like bloating and stuff that never used to happen. But I need yeah. to know more about like responses that never used to be there, yeah. and that's like kind of a sign. It's like I'm getting older. Like so you see, you see, you need I'm getting, you, like, I'm you, getting like, you, you, yeah, you, man. You, see, you yeah. literally need to find somebody who's more of a problem solver. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm uh, more specific. That, yeah. So like with things like your digestion when it becomes an issue, um, those things are things I I try to talk about a lot. Yeah. And when when I can sort those things out, I know that my body then is in a better place. Okay. Wait, I do suffer with wait. things lately. I never used to suffer with. Wait a minute. I want to ask you something. So cool. when I was coming up every off season, all I did was complain about my stomach. I'm like, Oh, I'm so yeah. bloated. Oh, I'm so bloated. 
you know, you're eating like five, 6,000 calories a day, right? Yep. Is it the same bloating? We're just sick and tired of being bloated because I remember, I don't remember ever feeling like I wasn't bloated when I was in the off season. I always got, bloated uh, well, like since, shit. Si- since my food's changed over the last like kind of two, two, two weeks or so, week and a half, like I'm heavier and I'm less bloated. Yeah. So all I can go by is what I feel and what I see. And, uh, one of the main implementations really has just been certain vegetables with mo- most of my meals a day. And I know that sounds like such a simple thing, but we're bodybuilders and we're trying to hoof in food. Yeah. And typically the last thing we put in, like in, in terms of performance and, and importance is vegetables. We're all the same. We're like Ronnie fucking Coleman. We just want to get the, the, the necessary food in and get it done. Um, mm. But unfortunately for me, that's causing issues. So yeah. Therefore I had to look a little bit deeper into the, the kind of nutritional set up and to, to be fair like i was 277 pounds on uh three weeks four weeks ago i'm 291 today wow like, and i'm the same and i'm the same i'm the same like literally i'm not any fatter yeah. Yeah, yeah. not any fatter maybe, like, t- maybe a touch but and i feel healthier and i feel better and my stomach doesn't feel bloated yeah um you know and i was on cycle then and i'm on cycle now nothing's really he's adjusted some of the compounds but nothing's crazy so it's not like a I've just shoved a load of insulin in and whacked loads of weight on because I haven't. It's just been a steady, steady increment. Nice. Um, so. I started growth. I started my growth finally, and it's made a yeah. big difference. I know Luke's not a, not a fan of growth, but I'm a big. No, no, fan. no. I, I just, I, I think it's really good. <laughs> I just don't think it's like the holy grail that it's made out to be. You know, no, so. it's not the holy grail. But I did notice a significant difference when I started back. Yeah, what do you, yes, what do you boys? What's Sorry, that? guys. I just want to know. I want to know what you two, because it's very different person to person. Like, for what? What do you find the benefits of you using GH? What do you find, Luke? Like, what is your personal opinion? I mean, my mine's probably. Well, I think we're actually going to be exactly the same. I just think it's. I just look better. I feel better. Yeah. My skin's better. My recovery's better. I'm not as sore. My sleep's better. Yeah. Um, my fucking fingernails grow a bit faster. My hairs, my hairs, everything's a bit thicker. Like, and I just look grounder. But like other than that, it doesn't matter how big or small I am. It does the same thing. It doesn't make me go, I'm massive all of a sudden. It's not uh, like Bane's venom. It's not like that. He doesn't. Well, it's not like <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. But and, anyway, my point is, I, I feel all the same things Luke said. I could give a fuck about my hair, skin, or nails. I don't have any hair. Yeah. Um, for me, yeah, but your beard, does your beard grow quicker? That's what I mean. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I guess I um. I, the biggest things are, I know the very, in order, my pumps are a million times better because what I feel like happens as soon as I start GH, I feel like the muscle gets rounder. And I feel like that's because I'm either storing more glycogen in the muscle or storing more water in the muscle. But either way, either way, both of those things are contributing to like a way better pump in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the very first thing I look for. And the second thing is my look, obviously, because you're storing more glycogen or more water, everything's a little bit more round. So yeah. those are the two things. And then lastly, I think the third thing, sleep. I do sleep better when I'm on it. So, Yeah. I, I find it's uh, great for composition. I really do notice that it, if I was to not run GH and eat the certain like – if I eat like this and I don't use GH, my composition will be slightly worse than if I eat this and have GH. Yeah, I agree. So and I, think that, I think that's just because the GH obviously is response to fatty acid release. And obviously I still do cardio. I love cardio. And I feel like when them are paired together – I do yeah. feel like you get moderate fat burning more so than you would without. Um, since we're since we're talking about it, somebody asked the question. You uh, might as well yeah. answer it now. I prefer. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess there's a bunch of ways to look at it. What do you think, morning or night? I'll, I'll give my answer after. I prefer I prefer morning because nighttime. Um, I don't know. I prefer morning. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Luke? Yeah, just because it's part of the routine. Just the morning. Yeah, morning. That's what I do too. I I feel like though. When I do it in the morning, I feel more full in the muscle. But when I do it at night, I feel like I get leaner faster. Yeah. So like if I was getting, if I was, if I was getting ready for a competition, I would probably bump to like six and I would do three in the morning and three at night. So I got the benefit of both. And that's what makes me wonder for it. Is it, is it that because it's the fatty acid release and if you're starving overnight, like essentially fasting, are those fatty acids being released and you, I don't know how it works. That's what I'm trying to wonder. I don't obviously, know. there's an eight hour eight hour period where growth hormone is obviously active for the first however long. Yeah. Fatty yeah. acid release, and then you're not eating anything after that. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know the science, but it does interest me. I don't know the science about it. I just know after years and years you do of doing it, 
those are the, those are the two the two differences between morning and night use yeah. so anyway a lot of people like it sorry i was going to say a lot of people like it post workout as well but i've always found that really like odd timing i feel like it's a waste i've never felt any benefit from it yeah yeah and, and i don't know when to do it cuz i kind of like especially if you're someone who does use insulin like, yeah it's yeah the timing up. Yeah, the timing is confusing. And then yeah. uh, Dr. Serrano, who's like John's John's doctor, who's like yeah, he's supposed to be the expert on all of it or whatever, he says before training is the best time. But I've heard that. Matt Johnson, well. Matt Johnson had me do that. Did yeah. you notice anything? Who uh, mm. knows? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's meant to be. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you know exactly what to... that means. <laughs> Yeah, it means it's not just, really. Just, I don't know. The the, the pre training is just like trying to get the IGF response during training, isn't it? That's all it is. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. I know this is going to sound really meatheadish, but if I don't feel it, I don't. It's, like it's not doing anything, <laughs> right? So it's, yeah. it's funny. It's like it's almost like all of our thought processes are slightly different. Like with James, he was saying you were saying you like work with Patrick because he pays attention to your digestion. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Digestion's really basic, but like, like he pays attention. Like with I, that's the stuff I enjoy getting into. Like, if I have a problem, I want to figure it out myself, figure it yeah, out, yeah, like, yeah, find yeah. out. Like, yeah. that's, I need, it's weird. It's like, I, need fa- I, I need fathering. <laughs> no, I just, I just like, I want to be told, I just want to be told what to eat because a lot yeah. of people are really fascinated by somebody with really complex nutrition. I just want to be yeah. told what to eat and figure out all the cool stuff myself. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. you're, you're very much into the diet. Do you know what I mean? Like the diet. You I like am, the, I am. I, you I like all the that. macros, you like the specifics, you like all that. I, I, I do, I do, I do. But that's why I like. Yeah, I used to watch a lot. Like we're opposites. Well, that's why I used to like. I used to like watching John stuff. Like yeah. I found John fascinating. I find anyone like that fascinating. Anyone that has like real interest in, you know, nutrients. Like, it's funny because one of the things on my diet, yeah, for example, one of the meals is salmon, yeah. And if I don't have salmon at night, specifically, I'm told to have chicken and safflower oil. And mm. I'm thinking, what the fuck? I'm thinking, what the fuck, safflower oil? I've never even seen it. And then I'm looking into it. and I've got myself some, and it's obviously very rich in vitamin E which obviously salmon, I assume, is as well. Mm. So just little things like that. Like, I just love like, the fact that you have these alternatives that you can use to kind of to the same effect and have I'm choices. So, I'm different than both of you. I don't want to figure it out. I just want John to give me the fucking diet and I want to make it as easy as possible. Yeah, yeah. That's, what I'm like with, that's what I'm like with the diet. But yeah. all of like, I don't need to be told what nutrients to have in the day. It's like, that's for me to figure out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. just give me the base diet. Just give me the chicken and rice. Yeah, yeah. This. Don't give a fuck. All the, what vegetables to eat, what supplements to take. I'll kind of figure that shit out. Cause that's, that's yeah, the only yeah. bit I enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I got Because you. a lot of other people are more like, they want to be told it. They want to be given a massive supplement list by their coach. Mm-hmm. And they want to be told all the specifics there. And, yeah. and the diet is like super intricate. I'm the other way around. I, I, I want to look at a piece of paper every 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't stand. I can't stand it when a diet's too complex. John, yeah. John did that to me. So John's like, okay, I'm going to give you a diet. It's, he was trying to work on shrinking my waist, and it was a good diet. It was working, but it was just a lot of different vegetables and like add this fat and that fat. And it was just every meal was a little different. And I just eventually I just messaged him. I said, look, man, can we go back to basics? Like just, just give me the steak and potato. Uh, the chicken and rice and the fucking egg whites and, and oatmeal. Yeah. I'm good. Like, yeah. And we did. And I enjoy it better though now. Cause now I know it's just simple for me, man. After 20 years, I'm not going to start doing all this weird shit. To be fair, it's far easier to prepare as well. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, Oh, I don't want to go to the grocery store every fucking day. Give me something yeah, I'm there I can... every day. Cause it's, yeah. yeah. I want something I can cook in bulk and I'm done. And then I can, if I want to go to the grocery store and add things here and there, I can, but, I, the simplicity um, so james what's you been doing with your training have you, have you already discussed that i haven't just like, the training's fucking fantastic it's it's very like the sets are very much extended sets so it's all like um it's forms of rest pause basically a lot of rest pause yeah. um but different timings and stuff so this that basically what i've got is i've got a template which is five different kind of uh techniques which are all based on rest pause in one sense or another but just slightly different than each other Yep. And all you do is you select your own exercises. There's there's recommended exercises for each, for obviously each body part, and I kind of just work through those. But um, silly things like the first set's a cluster set, second set will be like a, a very long rest pause, which is actually a very intense set where you do a rest pause, which the first rest is 45 seconds, and then it actually descends all the way down to as short as five seconds after each break. And then you actually go back up like pyramid. So it's like one massive set, but it's just... 
again, some people might be like, fuck this, let's just do some basic shit. But for me, it feels fantastic and it gives the, the, the sessions a bit of a jazz and a bit of purpose. And um, I love rest pause anyway, but this is just a way to make rest pause a little bit more fun. Mm. So um, I'll send it over, Luke. I'll, I'll, so you can have a look. I'll send it over on WhatsApp so you can have a proper brief uh, uh, understanding of it. Because it's, it's cool. Because um, even Jordan messaged me and asked how training's going. And I showed him and he was fucking getting a boner about it. You know, you know, Jordan's like with training. Fuck me. Like anything that's talking about training, he gets excited about. But um, it's, it's really cool without going into too much detail because it's quite specific. It's just basically lots of variation of rest pause. Pretty low volume, essentially. Um, it's just a lot of hard work. But it's, it's cool. Really good. You probably watch it online, actually, Fwad. I know he does. He's got like this SST stuff that he calls it. I'm Who's not that? one for giving different names, but Patrick. Who's that, Patrick? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's been doing it for like seven or eight years, from what I've seen, and uh, it's just basically all the shit you like doing to spice up your training. And I know you don't have to spice up your training. I know a lot of people watch this and be like, "Are you a prick?" Because you can't just do straight sets, which I can oh, do, and I've done them with. I've done them with Luke. You know, me and Luke know how to fucking train. I've not, I've been training for fucking how long, but. There sometimes comes a time where I need to do something that allows me not to lift as heavy, yeah. so I'm a bit more sensible, but I'm still getting a lot of damage and a lot of workload. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we have about 200-something questions here. You guys want to get to some of them? Yeah, because I'm talking yeah, too probably, much. You probably, probably should. What did you, what, why are you yawning? Didn't you drink that FUBAR? Oh, no, I, I didn't yawn. I covered my because I'm talking too much. I need to shut the fuck up. Did you because drink I the FUBAR? No, you don't I know, I'm that's, what that's what you're here for. <laughs> Listen, I, I had that, and now I'm fucking like, blah, 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 blah. so I need to calm down. <laughs> right, James. So I don't know what's happened. What happens when the gym's open? Are we going back to what we were doing, or are we just? Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna send you this training through, and you're gonna read it tonight, and then you're gonna tell me what you think. That's what yeah, well, I mean, when, 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 when all the gyms open uh, again, are we trying? Oh well, we're gonna train. Obviously, you big dope. Of course, we are. Just need to wait for the gyms when they open. Yeah, I don't know when. We're gonna be because I, I don't mind doing Patrick stuff. I think you'll like it, honestly, because of where, you know, you had the issue with your chest and stuff. This is like what we were doing anyway, trying to find ways to prevent those things happening. Is it like battering yourself with just, just intensity oh, stuff rather than... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really good. It, it, honestly, it's fun as fuck. Like, you know when you do like a muscle round with like fuck all weight, by the time you get to like the sixth attempt, you're just yeah. like, I'm dying. It's, it's basically that. It is literally that. That's honestly. actually the shit, I, the shit I did in 2015 with John. Yeah. I, put on a, I put on a lot of muscle doing that. Like my body changed I a lot. Training. I yeah. love training. My body changed a lot from 2014 to 2015. And I, it was the only time in my career I didn't do my own training. I did his. And yeah. it was very, very different. It's a lot of the stuff that you're talking about, cluster sets and rest pause sets, stuff like that. So it would probably help you guys a lot. I think it will. Honestly, this is what I'm trying to say for like the last three weeks, four weeks of doing it, my body has just felt different. Like there's muscles yeah. on my body that never used to feel very present that now yeah. I can feel. Yeah. Like it, it's making me conscious about the muscles because when I'm training it, I'm training it much more connected. Yeah. Different stimulus really altogether. Cool. Yeah, totally. Um, okay. Now that we got Wicked here, we can get some questions in. Beautiful. <laughs> um, okay. Who is the current bodybuilding king of the UK? Luke, James, or Nathan? Only Fuad is allowed to answer. <laughs> Uh, it depends. How are we looking at it? I'm going to say Luke, but how many wins does Nathan has? That's tough. Seven. So yeah. Nathan has seven wins. I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not even disputing. Does Nathan it. have seven? Seven, does seven have fucking seven? wins. He has. Yeah. He has fucking hell. Well, if we're looking at that, that's hard to. It, if we're looking at stats, then we have, have to obviously give it to Nathan. But if we're looking at if they're stood next to each other, I think Luke's better. Yeah. So, yeah. what about what about who's? Uh, is that what you? <laughs> because he, that's, I think you mean just who's. When you think British bodybuilding, who do you think? Me, Nate, James, or Nathan? I think I would actually assume people would think me and James together. Why would we're, it be? We're, amal we're not amalgamized. Not a, listen, because, bodybuilding because is not a team sport. It's fucking it's individual sport. It's you or it's James. Not, it's not both of you. Yes, but we come as a, we like we do a lot of content together. It's not about content. They're talking about on stage. What are you talking about? That's not what it says. He said you wanna, you wanna, why don't you go to his house and hold his hand too while you're at it? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he just said the king of British bodybuilding. So I'm saying in terms of like, what does that mean? Does it mean like who's who's the, who's at the front? Is in, who's, yeah. you, know, you know what I mean? Like when in terms of Canadian bodybuilding, I always thought Ben was did better than you on stage, but I thought you were like the Canadian bodybuilder. Ben didn't do better than me on stage. So I have two okay. wins. He has one. Yeah, but he was like always like, 
Generation Iron, Mr. Olympia stuff, doing getting like thirty. Yeah, that's what I mean. He was like that guy. Whereas you were like the content. When they look at when they look in the history books, they're not going to say, "Oh, this guy was on Generation Iron." <laughs> I'm not gonna, love they're not going to say that. Stuff. No, they're not, they're not gonna, that's, that's what I mean. You're they're not, not going to say that. Okay. Huh? Well, you're, I'm, I'm saying it depending on the, are they looking at on stage or are they looking at the bodybuilding? Listen, I, I've, I've beat Ben at, we've competed at four shows together and I beat him three times. Yeah, but you're both known for different things. He's known for Generation Iron. And He's known for having oh, legs. Yeah, is, huh? He's known for having legs. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you also, but you also like the thing is you were you basically what I was we're saying. We're not talking. We're not talking about. Basically, content. what I was saying is you were far more popular and you represented Canada far better than he did. Yeah, but I think the question is based that on would, in my opinion, make you the king of Canadian bodybuilding at the time, not Ben. Despite the fact that Ben was kind of more well known due to the movies and other stuff, and people saw him as because he was like your top three in the Arnold, like that. And Ben was second at the Arnold in a bad year. I think I was. I think I was seventh that year. That was the year that Arnold shit on everybody. How, how many? How many times did Ben do the Arnold? Uh, do the Olympics? Quite a few times, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know. But it was more than once, wasn't it? I don't know. Actually, I actually I don't know. Like, so I think. I mean, he did it at least twenty twelve. I'm sure, we can look it up. Yeah, look it up. I just don't know. I just. I just re distinctively remember seeing more of Ben. Okay, let me ask you this. If you compete with Nathan five times and you beat him three, does that make you a better bodybuilder? No. Why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Because, because, <laughs> then the, because then the sixth time he could beat me. No, that, I'm talking about, let's say you guys both competed 10 times and then right. you retired. And you, uh. beat, and you beat him six or seven out of those times. Does that not make you a better bodybuilder? Who, who won the last time, though? What the, that doesn't matter though. That fucking does, man. Last show is your best. Last show is only show. It does not man. matter at all. Listen, it motherfucker. You, your last show is only show you can be judged by because that's your last look. Well, you better not because my last show was horrible. I don't want to be yeah, judged so by that mine. show. <laughs> my last we're, show. Was, we're all fucked. We're all fucked. No, man. I think okay. Well, I, obviously everybody has a different standard of how they judge people. I judge people based on, not judge people. Sorry, judge bodybuilding comp competitors on Show how many facts. times how many times have they competed against each other. Did they compete against each other and who won? You know what I mean? If you, not, I've, not, I've never even stood on stage with Nathan, so I don't. Yeah, oh, that's I true. Have, they but I have, but it wasn't on a competing. But that's but, what. Yeah. I'm, that, but that's what I'm saying. So right now, as of as far as stats go, Nathan Nathan has the edge because of he has course, seven. I've never I've never denied that. I know I've that. Never denied that. Yeah. But I also said I think when you guys do finally stand on stage together at your both your bests, you beat him. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just yet to be seen because it will happen eventually. Yeah. So that's, that's all true. I'm saying. But that's I when I judge bodybuilding, I judge obviously the obviously the type of show matters, the the level of the show matters. Well, I mean, the king of British bodybuilding, okay, doesn't make any sense because we've all three of us have won the ultimate British title, so we're in that respect equal. And there's no pro shows in this country for us to have all competed together on the same stage, and therefore there can't be the king of England. But wait a minute! But when you say that British bodybuilding, so I'm saying what my point was. Was he referring to who's the best on stage? 100% Nathan, without a doubt. Or is he saying who's like the face? Because I think James is far more popular and far more well-known than Nathan and represents British bodybuilding better than Nathan. And I think okay, I do. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know. That, I don't, that's I, why I was wondering. That's, which is why I was getting to That's why I used you and Ben as an example. Because I think when I think Canadian bodybuilding, I think you, not Ben. Yeah, well, so I think you. I think you were just a much better. You were you were seen more. You were much better representative. That's kind of what I was getting at. And you were both yeah, pretty good on stage. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't specify whether he means the stage or whether he means overall. Well, that's, that's kind of. Yeah. That's what I meant. It, that's why I was saying overall. Yeah. Well, wow. my mind is blown, boys. My mind is blown. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's fucking rambling. I, I get you. I get you both. I do. I do. <laughs> How do you judge? Who's the best oh, bodybuilder, yeah. James? Yeah. Not not talking about content, I'm talking about stage. James, uh, how do, how do you judge who's the best, a better bodybuilder? My my thing is literally just I just take what I I take what I've seen of them both and how how good they've looked, and I just do it in my head because I don't have to see someone on stage next to each other. In my opinion, what about in the case of me and Ben, where the careers are or well, my career is not over yet, but maybe let's say well, let's, I, I I would look at your best. Uh, an image that I feel is your best stage appearance versus his best, and I'd, oh, I'd, I'd I make see. It I see. That's what, what I would do, and I would because because it's not active right now. That's what I would probably do. 
So like yeah. Luke, I've seen Luke at the Arnold. This is why I've always said before, like Luke at the Arnold wouldn't be beaten by any other British bodybuilder. And that, that's period. So that's how yeah. I know that Luke, that's how I know that Luke's physique yeah. currently is, is in first place. That's fair. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I look at that's it. A fair, that's a fair way to judge. Yeah. Well, why, I, could, <laughs> why couldn't you just say that, Luke? <laughs> Because I don't agree with He's that. Been humble. You don't humble. agree with that? Oh, no, no. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily agree. I like, that's, that's James's opinion. But I'm saying all this is based yeah, yeah. on opinion because you're looking at cold, hard facts. It's Nathan. No, no, no. Uh, but no, no. I'm saying I agree with James. And I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. And then, it's, it's funny because we're all agreeing, but we can't yeah. agree. It's, it's, like super... the say, it's like the saying for the show. Yeah, I'm yeah. not arguing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I agree with you on paper, yes. And then when you kind of do like the, you know, like in boxing, they have, they say less. The virtual, boxing, yeah. the virtual boxing. We're doing yeah. basically a virtual matchup. And it's yeah. James' opinion that I win. Yeah. But, and mine. So we, yeah. And it's all, yeah. And it's all kind of opinions. Yeah. So it's like, and then, but then if you take into account the other stuff. Mm. Well, it's, what the fuck did you do? Seven, from? yeah, seven wins like in the uh, MC I think, pretty, I, I think it's pretty, I think we all hold the four pretty nicely together in different ways. You're just trying to be diplomatic. But it, and the, the nice thing about this question, it says only Fuad is allowed to answer. Yeah, and we got carried away. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Fuck. anyway. Um, I'll just shut up. Okay, I like this question. Uh, does two clean cheat meals on two different nights equal one big cheat meal with sweets, or is it better to binge all at once and get it out of the way? <laughs> what a question yeah, is that, Paralysis, man? that's the most... <laughs> That's like, no no i think like, let me let me re-ask it for him because i think it makes sense he's saying is it better to have like let's say you consider um let's say you consider all you can eat sushi a cheat yeah. but it's not a really bad cheat because it's sushi right so he's yeah, saying yeah. is it better to have sushi like wednesday and saturday or is it better to have like pizza buffet and like fucking ice cream on saturday night i don't think it really matters because I, I, I don't really think it matters too much i mean i think what what matters is how you look and feel that's what should dictate that it's not I uh, I really like it when Ford asks these questions because I look at him and I, I feel like it's him that's asking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I'm like, it's like he's trying to suss us out. Like, Why do you keep mm. changing costumes? It's like I keep looking at you and one minute you're like fucking bald. Because I, like, I, 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 I was getting hot, so I took my hat off, but then I, I like having my hat on, so I put it back on. Yeah, it's quite warm under here. Why do you tell about his front? You haven't done that for quite a while. <laughs> you're Jew. You're Jew. Come on. You Listen, what... <laughs> Uh, when I ask the questions, I'm trying to have compassion for the people writing it. So I'm asking you seriously. You guys are making a joke out of it. These guys really uh, want I, answers. I feel like that question is even... Look how hard he's, con he's concentrating so it's hard. True. He's got his eyes closed. It's even too specific for me, and I'm anal as fuck. Why is it just, I, 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 I think it's a really no, valid question. I, what, I used to, what, I, what I used to do is I would have, in the middle of the week, I would have a relatively clean cheat meal which would just be a big bowl of pasta or I'd have just a box of cereal with whey. Just really, really high carb, but not filth. And then at the weekend, I'd have whatever I wanted. Yes, so that's what I do. Kind of, yeah, so I think that kind of, yeah. it's kind of in the middle. What are you that's doing? what I was doing. I was just eating what I was doing. I was training four days in a row and then having a day off. And every fourth day, I'd have a meal off. No, that's a good idea too. That kind of nice. Refuel, yeah. We've just blown his mind now. He doesn't even know what to do. We haven't even answered his question. We just <laughs> oh my fuck <laughs> No, fuck. I did. I think Luke. I, I do. I've always done what Luke does. I Wednesday is like my cleaner cheat meal, where it's like still bodybuilding beneficial, but it's not sloppy and gross. Yeah. And then Saturday night is my. I'm out with my girlfriend. I'm gonna have a drink and eat whatever the fuck I want. I feel like you two are just being pussies and can't make it to Saturday without a meal. I think that's you're, really. You're probably right. I can't. I, I can't. think that's. I think that's really weak of you. <laughs> You need your bowl of cereal midweek just to stop you from craving giving in. <laughs> nah. Uh, the, only, the only time I did that was with Justin Harris, and he used to give me those two high days. So I had one on a Wednesday and one on a Saturday, and that was like the evening. He said he said unlimited cereal. carb meal, low unlimited. fat. So I would ah. so I'd always I'd always just eat a box of cereal that day. And everybody then eat, Saturday night I would just go out for whatever I wanted. Why did everybody go on the cereal kick for so long? It's easy because to digest. cereal is delicious and it digests nicely. Angel food yeah. cake. I, just, I, think, I still think cereal is just a bit better. I want what about like, um, go on, Ford. It's like a whole but, cake. You know, the angel food cake? It's just literally, yeah. just, it's just fluff. It's what awesome. About, it's true, it's true. Do, you, do you have angel delight in Canada? It's yeah. probably the same thing. Oh, no, angel delight is like a, well, what is, is. it? What is it called? What is it? No, it's not. Angel delight is like a weird whipped mousse kind of thing, isn't it? 
the oh, moose, it's all sugar. Like thick good. custard whipped whipped mousse. It sounds yeah, delicious. Oh, it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> I, lo- I love that'd custard. Be, that'd, be good. that'd be a good post workout. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah, but doesn't, order- doesn't custard angel delight? Doesn't custard have a lot of fat in it? Yeah, shit. but this doesn't. Angel this Delight's doesn't. Wrong. Oh, it doesn't. Angel delight. Angel delight's just literally sugar and butter. It's like butterscotch. It's brilliant. It's just sugar, delicious fluffness in a bowl. You know when your mum like makes a cake and she actually lick the bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. what it tastes like. It's just a whole bowl of that, but it's that. not going to give you the shits. <laughs> oh yeah. Fucking win. <laughs> Uh, Trevor two forty five says, "Who is one bodybuilder you would want to beat in their prime, and in your prime?" Oh. Well, Luke's in his prime. Who do you want to beat? Can you say that, or is it too too much? I'm not in my prime yet. Well, you're pretty close to your prime. I've been training like fucking nine years. I'm from way am I in my prime. Shut the fuck up. How much better are you? How much better do you think you're gonna get? <laughs> Quite a lot. No, not a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. Actually. Not a lot. You've already Quite gained. You're already like at ninety percent. You're gonna get ten percent better. Yeah, but that ten percent, it will be quite significant. Yeah, it's gonna be dramatic. Yeah, you're right. Look, yeah, look at look at look at. We talked about this last week. Like, look at Steve. Look at you're right now. You're like Dorian Yates, ninety three. He gets a little better, ninety four, and a little better, ninety five. But he's still Dorian um, Yates. No, I'm like Steve Coop five years ago. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Dorian Yates, ninety three is it's a big. That's a big ask. Yeah, no, I'm not saying. He, <laughs> I'm not saying he looks like Dorian Yates, ninety three. I'm saying. I'm saying Dorian made small increments yeah, like, yeah, yeah. in his prime, and then he made little gains. Yeah. That's where Luke is. So okay, well, I I, mean, I'm not comfortable. I'm not com- I haven't seen myself enough. Like, I haven't seen enough of myself on stage yet to go, right, I'm on my prime now. Okay, why are we arguing about this? Just answer the fucking question. <laughs> he just said, if you're, if, if you're in your prime, who would you want to be in their prime? I don't really. Who, I, honestly, I, just, I don't give a shit whoever's on stage with me. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Ever, you don't ever have your sights set on like a guy you want to take out. Well, obviously, obviously, it's any other British guy, really, isn't it? This is it. <laughs> really? See, I always, I, I, I'm going to say something, and this isn't. I don't want people to take this the wrong way. It's not malicious in any way. But, I always considered myself like at the top of the second tier of bodybuilding. I wasn't quite like a first tier bodybuilder, like up in the group with like Branch Warren and all those guys, like but I was at the top of the second tier and I felt like some of the guys who were bleeding between the first and second tier were like, uh, like Juan Morel or like Steve Kuklo, like when I was in my prime yeah, or like uh, Johnny Jackson, stuff like that. Right. Those were always the guys I wanted to beat. I always wanted to beat the guys that I thought were like one step ahead of me. So I could yeah. keep, so I could keep climbing the ladder. Okay. You know what I mean? But, well, for, like me, for me, it would then be, it would be Brandon Curry. <laughs> and William Bonnack, and that they both, and I, and I placed just behind both of them. So that's, okay, that's fair. That's, that's fair. That's a good. That's a good. That's the way it's got to be. That's, that's hey man. That's 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 a fair. You you want to beat the next step ahead of you. And yeah, my, mine, 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 Luke, mine would be obviously when I did the big man show, I got beat by Akim and um, yeah. Josh. Yeah. yeah so, so you. So that's what I'm trying to say. So those those yeah. things kind of stick, and you're like. Okay, so to get where I want to be, I got to step ahead of those guys. Absolutely. That's kind of how I was, right? So I was always yeah. like, okay, to get where I want to go, I got to step ahead of uh, Juan or Steve Kuklo or somebody that's in that, like, first, second tier. Like, Absolutely. Right? Yeah, makes sense. Um, Luke Sandow and Fuad Abiyad, are you doing the New York Pro? Luke? Probably not. I um I no, am. Is it the fifth of September now? Yeah, September. it's been moved again. Fifth or the eighth, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's twenty weeks. I want to do New York. If my body comes back to where it was previously, I will do New York because it's the only show I have not done that I've always wanted to do. So it doesn't matter if I win or not. I just want to do it and be better than I was at the Arnold's yeah, the last yeah, time yeah. I stepped on stage. I mean. The way things are looking, I mean, if, if that's the date of the New York Pro, I guarantee the Olympia is going to be pushed back. It's not going to be a week before the Olympia. Well, don't they need to, don't you need to do this? Oh, that's right. The Olympia is the 13th. Yeah, there's no fucking way. Yeah. So um, I would add, I'm going to assume the Olympia is going to be pushed back. Well, I know, normally, I know normally they do, um, you have to qualify four weeks before yeah. the Olympia to do the Olympia, but I wonder if they'll change that this year because of the circumstances. Yeah. So, well, something's going to change, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, I can't imagine they're going to move the Olympia though. That's a big move. 
let, well, let's see. Let's see. Well, yeah. We don't know. It, it, it could happen because everything else seems to keep. This is the second time that New York's moved. I know. I, I just. I wonder. Work. I wonder how easy it is to move, like the Olympia. In Vegas, I would imagine right? they're probably putting like a contingency date in place at the moment. Yeah. They're kind of doing backup plans yeah. and. Uh, if they were to do that and they move it back to like say October, November, I I, I would take this year off and focus on the 2021. Oh, because you want to do the Arnold? The 2021 Arnold's like that's the that's the one I'm gunning for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, if they move it, it's too close for you. I want to, I want to, yeah, it's too because you know what, I'm like, I can't do that, unfortunately. Yeah. So I would just start my diet in like October, and just have a nice kind of cruisy, nice, well-fed, keep stay, lean, stay big, hard. yeah. For the next kind of four or five months. Yeah, yeah, yeah makes sense. Makes sense. What about but you? I don't James? know. It, dep- it honestly depends on the sh- it depends on the show dates. But I, I'm gonna, so I need to stay tight regardless because I want to stay tight that I can be like right. So I want to stay. I'm in kind of ten weeks out shape now. Well, I know Vancouver. I think Vancouver is the end of August. They have it slated for. Yeah, it's like August twenty sixth or something. I would like. I, I would. I wouldn't. I'd be surprised if that wasn't pushed back. Yeah. Well, it's already the end of August, so I don't know if they're gonna push it because. New York was at the beginning of August. So, and plus New York's like a hot spot for like yeah, the whole COVID yeah. thing. So that's why. I don't know if Vancouver is in any danger. <clears throat> well, so. well, we'll see what the year does. But I mean, it, it would make sense for like anyone, any one of us to stay a bit leaner uh, just in case the we, so we can jump. If, you get to, if I get too sloppy, I can't certainly jump, jump into a show in 10 weeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, if New, York's, if New York's September 8th or 5th or whatever it is, it's 20 weeks from last Saturday. That gives me um, gives me like a good eight weeks to bulk, yeah. And I can start my prep for <clears throat> twelve weeks. Yeah, good. not like a dirty bulk, but like a you know, no, really, but like, like a, like a yeah, clean bulk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What I'm about you? About, sorry, I'm, I was sorry, Karen, Karen. I was going to ask James what show he wants to plan if he has uh, any plans. I, I, I've got I've got nothing really picked. I would I would have loved to done like New York just to mainly actually just to be able to compete with Evan just for the fuck of it because it'd be fun and nice to mm-hmm. share the stage. Um, I don't know if he's still doing New York now. It's changed, but it would have been like an honor, if you know what I mean. But other than that, I'm I'd not like, really fussed. I'd like to get Evan back. He fucking he beat me a while back. <laughs> could be, no, that's what I mean. It could be your chance. It could be your chance. I don't know if I could get him back at this point, but he's fucking. He well, looks good. You see those videos he's putting out? He looks good, man. He, he looks pretty jacked. So yeah. so I was like, fuck. <laughs> he's like he talks like he he. When you hear him talk, he's like, oh, you know, I'm not that good. And I'm not good, as good as I used to be. And then you see him working out, and you're like, this motherfucker looks the same as he looked like five years ago. I know, I know, I know. And, and him at his best, is, as we know, is very dangerous. So. I, wonder, I wonder what his legs look like, because his legs were never his strong point. Yeah. And now, but know, I, wasn't it like the 2014 Arnold when his legs were really big, when he, when he won the Flex Pro? No, 2011, wasn't it? 11 well, was the Flex uh, Pro. 11, 11 was Flex Pro. That, yes. In a couple of years, where his quads looked huge, and his legs have always looked good from the rear and the side. But there was a couple of shows where his quads were really big from yeah. the front. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? It'll be interesting to see. I wonder if it's it's noticeable or not. Let me see here. That's the thing that's really kind of hard with this like home training is the is the leg component because I love a leg press. Yeah. Can you guys see that? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, like... having a look. What are we looking for? What were you? We gonna get up? Oh, I think I have something. Can you guys see this? Oh wait, no, you yeah. can't. I can see it. No, you can't. Uh, well, can it see. says on your iPhone, iPad, it says. Oh, okay. This is yeah, horrible. We're totally slowed down the show now. Why are you ah. doing that, mate? Yeah, that's the beauty <laughs> of, of copy and paste and cutting. And stuff. Copy and paste. Copy and paste, lad. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck is going on? Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Let me see here. Let's try this again. Okay. How about now? Got it? Yep. yep. That's your phone. Yep. Oh, dangerous. Uh, just making sure. We're dangerous. Not getting anything we should have. Are you just yourself. <laughs> no, no, it's not me. I want to show Evan in 2011. Right, oh, the Flex Pro where he beat Dexter. You came third, didn't you? You look really good. Oh, sick! This is like the best. I love this show. I can't. Wait a I'm minute. Nervous. There's barely there any- two of them. There was only two of them, weren't there? Two years. They won't play. Only- for- Motherfucker. Wait. Okay, wait, is it going to get clearer or no? Should do. It's clearer, it's clearer. It's getting a bit clearer. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, so there's there's Evan here. And Dexter. Yeah. Dennis sorry, Wolf. Evan. Look how big yeah. Dennis Wolf is. <laughs> he is a lot. I just remember his hair being different on that show. He had it just like down like a normal 
like he yeah, just yeah. got out of bed. He looked like a beetle. <laughs> he looked like he just got out of bed. He must be like Justin Compton, actually. We should probably, yeah, he does look like Justin Compton. We should you probably look, get. Yeah, yeah. You, you look crazy good there, Fred. I think this is the, probably the best I ever looked, like full combination of everything. Yeah. But look at Evan's legs here. Yeah, they look really good. And then at the Arnold, it was like a few, a couple of weeks later, where he got a third or fourth. Yeah, yeah third. Yeah. yeah. Two years in a row. I got fucking yelled at by Hani after this. He's like, you fucking idiot. He's like, why do you take so long to pose? You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know how sometimes they say, like, you know, you want to be the last guy to hit your shot? Kind of. Yeah, I've heard that. But then again, a lot of people like, no. <laughs> it can, yeah, it can backfire. Yeah. Yeah, Evan looks really good here, man. If he looks like this, how do you think he'll do? Oh, he could win. He could win. Like win now. Yeah, definitely. I think no he, why not. he'll definitely win. Look at who fucking look who he's up against. He'll probably win. And he, look he, at this as well. Like, look at the stature of like Evans, a five foot eleven guy. Like, he's a, he's not a small bloke, and it it helps. You know, he has the stature, like the, the wolf stature. He's round as fuck for that. Yeah, good tan I, as well. You're, you're did, the best color. I didn't take any diuretics for this show. Um, Hani did a good. Hani does a good job, man. Hani's a good co- Hani's a good coach. He just uh, he just got too busy. Eh, happens. It's the, the, that's what we said about earlier. It's just fun to try different things, isn't it? Yeah. Dexter, this was Dexter's. Like, remember Dexter went through a couple of bad years. Yeah, this is one of them. This is one of Evans, them. That's... Evans' fucking arms, man. I know his ar- arms and shoulders are fucking ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, but your shoulders are ridiculous. Yeah, your shoulders are very capped. Look your shoulders are super just like, just look, your like shoulder girdles are straight across. No one else is doing that. Yeah, it's like your traps are poke out of this like flat. Yeah. Like, you are like y- young Jay Cutler shoulders. Yeah, sick. Do you think I could have beat any of Dexter here? Because a couple guys in the audience were like, they had me ahead of Dexter. Yes. Yeah, because it's not, it's not Dexter looking his normal self. Yeah, oh, 100%. I, I think you could have quite come through even second, depending yeah, on they the like person. You know what? Uh, because you know, in the video there, because your tan's so good, you're projecting way better than Dennis. Yeah, you're looking poppy. <clears throat> so in the video, you look way better than Dennis. In person, I would want to see what you look like. Because in the video, it looks yeah. like you could beat Dennis as well. Well, I did yeah. beat Dennis at that show. You got, yeah, you got third, didn't you? No, I thought you were Because you were on the outside, I thought Dennis beat you. No, no, that was just the way the call-out was. That wasn't the yeah. final call. But I, I, I took third at that show. But it was That's the final cool call-out as well, wasn't it? No, no, that was still... Uh, no, 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 that was the, that, that was the first call-out. Cool. That wasn't the final call out. It was the first call out. Was the it was the prize money for that show? Ten grand. Us oh, as so a normal, yeah. Yeah, just I thought it was normal. more. Of a, I thought it was one of those ones where they gave more. No, no, it was just a normal show. Okay. Um, okay. Logically built says if you could combine yourself with one animal, get some of its power and aesthetics, what would it be and why? It's got to be a big cat of some sort, isn't it? Like a jaguar or something. Surely. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, some, I'd say a jaguar. Uh, probably a bear. I think a rhino. I'll take a rhino. A bear is a good one too. I don't know why. They're all good. I think that's all good choices. I think we were, that was a strong answer from us all. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can even. I'm just thinking of like Toad from X Men. Just sit there and just, just eat birds. <laughs> okay. Let's Talking of eating birds, right? Do your cat? You've both got cats, right? Yes. Do your cats kill animals and bring them into the house? Yes, of course they do. They love it. Mine doesn't. Mine's a house cat, but sometimes I'll find like an insect and I'll watch him kill it. It's awesome. He, he's she's oh, no. she uh, Inky. Uh, uh, I don't care. She, <laughs> you just killed her for what? I had to kill the bird, but she brought a bird. She's playing with the, the back step. Oh no! Yeah, she is this little like, like it, looked, it was about the size of a robin, very small little bird. She pulled one of its wings off, so it only had one wing, and the other one was just a bit of bone flapping about. Oh no! Uh, Brutal. And it had broken, snapped its her leg. I'm saying her, I'm not say. and it was just the poor little bird was just fucked, and I'm sure she it was like desperate to get away. She was just toying with it. How did you kill it? I had to throw it against the wall. <laughs> really? I just picked it up and launched it against the wall. Why yeah. didn't you film that? I would have loved to see that. It's fair, wasn't it? <laughs> Dude, it was the most humane. Sorry, way animal glory. No, I wouldn't want that. Can you just <laughs> break, like snap its neck or something? What are you whipping it against the wall? You should have just decapitated it with a shovel. Yeah, oh. I was, yeah, but I was trying to think of a way that was quick. And not very messy. That's pretty brutal, though. Throw it against the wall. What if it didn't die the first time? It yeah. won that. I fucking hooned it against the wall. 
I'm surprised it didn't go through it. Did you do this? I'm surprised it didn't knock the house over. Did you wind like, it up? <laughs> 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 yeah. The um my my cat, I was in my living room not too long ago, and my cat walks in all quiet and mischievous because he doesn't make a sound if he's killed something. Nice. Walks in, just looks at me. He's got a whole fucking pigeon in his mouth. No whole way. Pigeon. Pigeon's the same size as my cat. It's like that. I obviously get up and I like panic and like, what the fuck are you doing, you little shit? It drops it and the pigeon's just pissing out blood out of his neck, like all over my floor. It's like wooden floor. Like these little cats, yeah, but the, the, so, so after like, the, when the bird hit the floor, it was dead. So I went and checked. Yeah. And you just ran past, grabbed it and just it took it into a bush they and started do. eating They do. They do. They're bastards. You just started eating it. Like just, but like eating it like it was a burger, like taking bites out of it with like feather and everything. It's like, mm, nice. You'll find your cat yeah. will often also kill mice, but it won't eat them. It'll just beat them. So it'll, it'll, it'll get a mouse and it'll bring it to the near the house. And you'll just look out the window and you'll literally see your cat with his claws away, batting. Yeah, they put that, they, they hold its tail down, don't they? And just smack yeah, it. Yeah, and they just keep the smacking it. They're terrible. Yeah. Why do no they wonder it gets a bit scared. The animal ki- kingdom is nature, you know? Why do, they, why do they do that? Why don't they just fucking eat it? What are they, oh, did you guys? I got to show you this. Right. Why? You it's pr- because they're playing, aren't they? They're having fun. You've probably yeah, seen Yeah, they're, they're having a great time, mate. Have you they're seen this? Fuck, fucking this fun. shit disturbed the fuck out of me. What's this, a crocodile or some shit? It's a horse. It's a horse. And it's it's a little chick. It just fucking ate it. But it's the chick. Yeah, watch. I'll show it again. Watch. Look at it. He's just chewing on it. Look. Look, there's a little baby chicken. I have just no idea what it is. Look it. It just gulp. Mind you, it's pretty small. So mom is just freaked out. It's just chewing on it. Look, it's just that's just dead. Like that's it. It's just (laughs) it's not it's it's not that different than KFC, really. Come on, man. Let's <laughs> fuck this. It's just like a little chicken nugget. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. That's what they do in KFC anyway. Well, it is. It, that was probably Easter. And he was like, I'm getting in on this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, how to convince my wife that steroids are okay. My wife keeps telling me that my body is at a perfect size right now. I'm 5'9", 185, 12%. This is a maintenance. I always tell her I'm not big enough and I want to be bigger, but she gets mad when I tell her I want to hop on the sauce and hop, hop, sauce hop on the sauce train. The sauce. Please help. Thank you, Fuad and the Foo Boys. Bring, listen, bring home, bring home some checks from some shows and then she can't say shit. Yeah, but he's got to so, do the gear to get the checks. Yeah, but just don't tell her until the show is one. Wow, Come you on, can't girl. betray your wife like that. You have to betray your wife. I'm sorry. You have to betray her. Wow, betray wow. is the only way. That is it. Sometimes in life, sometimes in life, guys, you have to relentless. Pray. Relentless. <laughs> he is just a savage, this man. And, okay, and then well, you literally just put the check on the table and you say, "Yeah, it was all worth it." Horrendous. It's gonna take this kid. He's 185 pounds. It's gonna take him like <laughs> 10 years to get a check. <laughs> Shit. True. <laughs> yeah, and by the time he gets it, she's gonna be like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> okay. Can uh, we give him? Can we give him any actual advice? I can't. I it? can't. I'm not gonna tell you what to do in your fucking marriage. Yeah. Listen, it's hard. I've never, I've never had anyone. You're not even going to try and give him any advice. Well, no, I would just say, I would just say, just be very honest. I think honesty is always the best thing. Just tell her up front. You say you want to try. You're going to start very, very low. If we don't like it, I don't have to do it. But at least I want to just try, and she'll fucking love it. She will love it, and and he'll stay on the source for life. He just wants the source. That's all he wants. That's it. And when she starts getting more source, because he's on the source, she's going to be. Out they're gonna be just. Sauce. I mean, they're just gonna be. Fine shouldn't we? It. Shouldn't we just tell him not to do any sauce because he's only 185 pounds? Like he can probably gain like 20 pounds without doing. Oh yeah, he do, yeah, or you could just do that. Yeah, good advice. Yes, Listen, like maybe you, are, you are. You are the wise one. This is your your channel, so maybe it could be your advice. <laughs> You're like fuck his fuck his followers. Let's just give him shitty advice. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So, all right. We so we can't help. We're just saying stay natural. Get, get as big as you can natural. Talk to her while whoa, you're whoa, natural. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say stay natural. <laughs> Listen, I, just, I, I just fuck for fuck. I just said, I just said what Luke said. Be, on, be honest. Be honest. Listen, Phil, I, I expected better of you. I expected Fine. more from you. Tell him the same. Be honest. Get on the source. She'll love it. Just be nice and gentle. Well, are we it. saying what I would do? If, if it was just me? Just go on like 250 sus a week and just see what happens. And if you both. Okay, wait you, a minute. If we're, just try it. If we're saying what I would do. I would just do whatever the fuck I want. And if the girl left, then she left. That's the wife. It's your wife. No, no, this is... Oh, it's his wife. I mean, it's a little different. <laughs> I thought it was his girlfriend. My <laughs> wise guy, what, what next? Go on, go on, go on, Mr. Fucking, like, 
one bar. So does he have kids? Or I don't think have kids? of it now. I can't, I can't well, if it. he doesn't have kids, I would still just do it. I'd be like, look, I want to do it. You got to either support me or not. Yeah, but I would tell you, meet just say, I'm not going to do a cycle. I just want to do this. Just this little fucking amber week or whatever. And just want to start like, is sex wife's going to rock it? She's going to love it. There's, He's going to be a bit What bigger. if? No. And he'll be he'll gain like 10 pounds of muscle. And it'll be nice round muscle. And she's, she's going to be like, oh, I actually like this. She's not necessarily going to love it because if they're married, he's probably not getting laid a lot. And Yeah, but, but that's normally the man's complacency. I know, but what happens? Okay. <laughs> so if he gets on the sauce, right, he wants to fuck like every day. What if yeah. she's like, get the fuck away from me. I don't want to fuck but you every day. Like, she's on the know... starts kissing her neck, all that stuff. Getting well, nice. no. If she Nobody's doesn't kissing fuck, any we... necks. What are you talking about? If she doesn't want to comply, then we, we know that, do, that, relationship, that relationship has sailed. That ship sailed. And it's what time for a new wife. Oh, so if you can't get laid, it's time for a new wife? New wife. There's so many potential wives out there. Why does it matter? <laughs> this is the worst. So many. This is the worst show ever for advice. We should never I give feel, anybody. I feel like we've swapped roles, James. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not only my advice. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can't help you. you. We're, we're just going to say we can't help you. Yeah. I don't think fuck. we've said is rubbish, so don't listen. Yeah, your advice is if you want to fuck more, then she'll stick around. What do you think? It's a porno? No, uh, no. I, I just said that's one of the benefits. But it's a benefit in your mind because you're a guy. To his wife, she's probably like, "Why is he bugging me every every fucking day for ass?" Uh, because I think I think I feel like when a man is trying to earn it, there's other ways to earn it. He might he might all of a sudden become way more ha- way more conveniently helpful around the house because he wants. He might to. cook meals. He might start. He might cook meals. Milk. He might go a little bit the extra mile to earn it. Oh, you never know, mate. They won't. They won't be having fish like fish fingers anymore. They'll be having salmon fillets. Mate, fi- you might be having salmon fingers. Have you had the salmon fingers? No, I haven't. The fish fingers, but they may be salmon instead. They're pretty no. good. That's <laughs> right. You guys are fucked up, man. Okay. Um, salmon right, salmon right. fingers sounds a bit dirty. Salmon fingers, lad. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds gross. Salmon it fingers. Salmon like, oh, fingers. I love it. What salmon fingers dipped in mayonnaise? <laughs> it's, it's like you picked up a, a salmon a, a salmon side and just let your fingers go That's over it and fish it fingers shit sounds on. awful. Just what, what's that? Fish fingers. You know, fish just finger. Fingers. Well, we call them, we here we call them fish sticks. See, that sounds better. It makes much more sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they look more like a stick than a finger. Why do you guys call them fish fingers? I don't call them fish fingers. It's like well, we I do because that's what it says in the box. Yeah, I, know, I don't know. Let's ask Captain Birdseye. I don't know what the fuck he's playing at. <laughs> this is making me think of your posts earlier, Luke. You know, like all your your boycotted. You know, your stupid. I can imagine fish fingers like a picture of a fish with human hands. All of those like knockoff, terrible. Like I was crying looking at that this morning. They were brilliant. You need to. So, I mean, it was like, the unbelievable. This is not big, butter. That one. Uh, <laughs> Mate, where is that this one? Get, get on, get on Luke's story. stories later tonight. Check them out. They're hilarious. So this morning I just posted like maybe 10 like really bad knockoff versions of like Kit Kats <sighs> or whatever it was, whatever I found. Oh my God. Oh God, yeah, God. No, I already just got my story. For fuck's sake. You gotta go way back. Yeah, this is, honestly, these, yeah, we need to discuss these. Yeah, way I back, so. way, just, go way forward. back. Yeah. yeah, just go back in time, please. Um, just quite, go through these together. I've I really a lot of story. Keep going, keep going. Look at that beard. Look at that um, fine beard. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Just this, blast this shit it. is amazing. Come on. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going. You fucking dick. Uh, uh, right, so these, these are the Let's ones that I'm finding them. Just we're, go to the beginning there. and play through. You're nearly there, mate. Okay. This is brilliant. What, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> keep going. Back like, more. Okay, keep yeah, going. Yeah, a few more. There's more. more. <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go. All right, all right, let's let's let this play. This is so good. You can skip it. You... This is us right here. We need to analyze this shit. This is turn up, mate. It's as loud as I can get it. All right, let's see what's going on. Look at look at the state of this. <laughs> 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 Ill-tempered birds. <laughs> They're not angry birds. Instead Ill-tempered. of angry birds, <laughs> I think it's because all of them oh. are like really bad translations. Instead of transform, <laughs> deformed <laughs> child. <laughs> oh shit, Dave! <laughs> what the fuck? What's oh, the fuck? Where is this knockoff from? <laughs> what? Is this that, that's a counterfeit note. <laughs> that's Big the. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> it sounds because it, it sounds like Godzilla as well, it's big fella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. There's, there was a second round. There's poo and balls. What the fuck is yeah. that? We, no, we Winnie the Pooh. Poo. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking terrifying. That one. Look, why is it Nirvana with a Bionicle T-shirt? What the fuck? That's like his Lego Bionicles. <laughs> that one Asshole. is <laughs> Star. What is that word? War. What? Wars 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 is? Horsios. Power Rangers and like Green Batman. What the fuck? Where is, this off a, is this all from China or something? I have it's no idea. From some dodgy country. I don't even know where this is from. But yeah, that was uh, that was our entertainment for the morning. Luke provided much. It just, I just they are the counterfeit, and I got sent loads more. Like they got funnier and funnier. But the, tomorrow's episode. My God, they need to go up in the morning so when I do my cardio, I can watch them. Um. Okay. Best way to build a following when you're a boring ass bodybuilder working a boring ass eight to five desk job. This is a good one. Fuck important, those. important to tell people. When you do shit. Well, what what you do? We'll just do everything. You, you do well. We'll just post everything you need from your spare time. Build like you don't know who you are. Like, I would, know what you, are, so you know, and just do be you. I guess I don't, I don't have an answer for you because I don't know. What ask I'm doing. ask for Adabiard if you can come on his podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> say no, I think. Right. Um, <laughs> I think um, some some tips are be very frequent with your posting, okay. not annoyingly frequent, but you know if you're on YouTube, like at least two or three times a week. Definitely. Um, do things you're good at, like Luke said, be real, but more importantly, find find what you're good at. Like, like for example, for my my channel, like my training videos are shit. Nobody like they don't get a lot of views, but when I cook, people like watching the cooking videos. Yeah. So find a thing you're good at or that people like to watch you do it. Like if you look at John Meadows, like when he cooks any food, it doesn't get that many views, but when no, he, he's training, he's training, but when he's it. training, everybody wants to watch mm. it. So you got to find the everyone's thing. Everyone's a little bit racist. They see you and they don't want to, they want to know what spices you're using. Just because... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, he knows, he knows, all he the knows, spices he knows the exotic videos. spices. Oh. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> spicy looking man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, no. know, yeah. That's definitely spicy. No, you know what it is. You know what it's from? <laughs> it's because, uh, generation, it's, um, What's it called? Muscle and Strength put all those food videos up. Yeah, they, they got so, so many views, didn't they? So that's why people are like, "Oh, he's the food guy." So then, but, they like you're, but the thing is, you're you're rubbish at cooking. You know um, what? It's true, but it's bodybuilding cooking. It's not. No, you're, you're not. You're yeah. actually very good. You actually. No, no, no. Very, I tell you what it is. You make bland food taste good yeah. without really yeah. adding much to it, dude. Yeah. In all honesty, in all honesty, I know what it is. I'm a shit cook, but it's enough that. Most guys are shit cooks, so it's enough that the average guy can put it together. Is like, it, if, you know, okay. Is like if you a, watch, like if you watch a real cooking channel, yeah. it's too much. There's a use. They're using so many ingredients. You're not going to do that every day. Is, is, uh, is Evan? Is there, okay? Is Evan good at cooking, or does he just cook good food? Do you know what I mean? No, Evan's uh, a, Evan's a good cook. He, okay, cause, cause but he's, he, he's genuinely time, interested oils, in vegetables, it. bakes chicken with mustard. Yeah, on he the he's one of them guys that will get the little petri dishes out and have like twenty grams of cumin. 20 grams of cardamom, 20 grams, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, is, it, like, is that for what, flavor or is, it, or is it because he likes the, uh, the health benefits? I don't no, know. That, I don't know. That's what uh, it's, 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 it's like I don't know. But could, could he make like a lobster? I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This he'll pop out in the garden. He'll pop out in the garden and he'll, okay. he'll, put, okay. he'll pull a few fresh bits of thyme off the bush. Oh, that's it, amazing. Yeah, so he'll, bring is, in, he'll bring in a pepper or two. Nice. The difference between yeah. me and Evan is Evan is trying to cook like an actual cook. Like an yes. actual chef, yep. and my channel is more like, okay, you're a meathead and you need to cook some chicken. I can make you, I can make it like taste not bad. What um, so. what restaurant would do better though, Abiards or Centipani's? Centipani's. Oh, I think I think Phil at yours would because yours. No, would be, dude, I, trust no, no, me. No, I think you put junk food out. And it'd be oh, that, like, yeah, yeah. Evans would be too clean. <laughs> You'd be a kebab house, mate. What are you talking about? Evans would be too. Evans would be too clean. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be enough cheap foods. <laughs> Ford, you would fit right in in the UK. Tell me, trust me. Why is that? Because we got kebab shops everywhere, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 and then there's and then there's Evans selling like fucking 
the most clean exotic food that's like 18 Listen, quid. Right? Everyone would have some posh steakhouse. Yeah. Surf and turf. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have, yeah. have to be very white middle class to even go there to eat. London Bridge. That's very right. Right. That's very racist. He, he would be in like Covent Garden or something. Yeah, he that's, our, uh, that's your racism for the episode. Yeah, but I am like kind of not quite middle class, but someone I'd say that. You're middle class I think, now. <laughs> I think if you worked, I think if you worked in Evans Restaurant and you fucked up, you'd get slapped. <laughs> yeah, that might be possible. Uh, he, he'd, have a he'd have a. It's funny you just said. You, it's funny you just joked that middle class now. Whenever I take the dog out for a walk in the morning, whenever the neighbours are out, they just like they. I think everyone around you like surgeons and doctors and. Do you feel like they're all looking at you like, how the fuck do you own that house? 100%. That's how I feel. 100%. That's how I feel. And like, it was like... <laughs> no, they're, uh, all my neighbors are very, very polite to me. Yeah, because I'm I know, scared. But I, but I know when, they, when I leave, they're probably like, I don't know how the fuck that guy owns that house. Yeah, I so, think that's what it is. And it's like, yeah. they see, yeah. They're probably like, his wife must make money because there's no way he fucking brings any money home. That's or, probably- or they just think I'm a drug dealer or something. Yeah, I yeah. Um, I'm grabbing okay. some water, boys. Two seconds. I'll be right back. Please. Would you rather be? Wait, you have to watch. You have to stay for this one. No, okay. I got like, Hold off. Would you rather be forced to watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life, or join in once to put it to an end? Oh my! I think, I think the first option, you, you'd be numb to it eventually. They're both absolutely horrible. I think the first one because you'd get numb to it. Can I tell you a bad, bad story? Yeah, go on. So I don't know why I'm telling this on the podcast, but it's not your parents. No, everybody's caught their parents. I actually have never, I've never caught my parents, but so we were really, really poor growing up, even though, uh, I didn't actually feel poor, but we were. Yeah. And I used to have to sleep in my parents' bedroom till I was like six years old. Cause all the, the other two rooms in the house were taken by my three brothers and a sister. And I heard, I heard some shit one night. One night, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I heard some shit, and I heard my dad actually talking dirty to my mom, and it was fucking the most disgusting thing I ever heard about life. <laughs> I don't even know what I know. So, what I so I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you that much, but but I will say that alone was extremely traumatic to me. So I don't know what watching would be like, but I don't know how I don't know how else to end this because it's just that sick question that someone left. Yeah, somebody said, would you rather be forced to watch, watch your parents have sex oh, every day for the that. rest of your life or join in and put it to an end? Oh, man, you got to think wrong. if you joined in the very first day, it would just be over. Yeah, but you got to... The question is, though, who do you join in with? <laughs> Obviously, both of them. <laughs> no, but do you, do you, what if you just try and, like... You've got a choice there. You can either go in, you know... You, you bum your dad or your mum. Bum your dad or do your mum. Well, but does it have to be all the way? Like, can you like just squeeze? Like, can you squeeze know, a tip? I don't know. Like, you did, why, what would, what would, would be easier to, why what would be easier to, to pull specifics out of this particular? What would, what would be easier to, to you always have a go at me for trying to be specific? I, I, and this I, I, particular I, one we're trying to delve into. Can we just reverse what, quickly out of this question? What, what, what would you two chaps? We have to answer it. Honestly, what would you two chaps feel like you could live with more? Bumming your dad okay, well, or doing your mum? Wait a minute. Do you have to That's go what? all the way, or can you like just like touch a boob? Look, he says have sex. You have sex. So you need to put this. T- the the tip needs ball, to go in. That means penetration. Balls it doesn't. Deep. It doesn't say. Like, have sex. Like, like if if it's your dad, yeah. If you do have your dad, could you live with you a bit more like? Ah, it says no. join. It says join in. It doesn't say have sex. Yeah, but that's still join. joining in. That's still joining in. It's Listen, just, okay, probably. I would imagine watching counts as joining in. So that nulls no, the question. You have to, and void. <laughs> Null and void, you're watching. That's joining in. Fuck off. Who, who are you more pallid? Sorry, I had just stalemate the whole question. <laughs> no, I think, more, I think joining in means you have to... There has you to have to do it. Just spit, who are more just spit on them during the... Just when they're doing it, just spit on no, them. And then no, 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 no. Luke, this, is, this is deep. Next question. Deeper than that. Shall Luke, I find the question? I'm exploring this question. I really want to get the answer. I'd like I'm to get the answer thinking. out of Luke as well. I don't know why... Oh, I, I want to know this. Who, like, because the truth is... Do you feel like you and your dad could shake it off because you're both men? Ah, it yeah, happens. Or, because if, if you did your mum, you could never shake that off. I'm sorry. Just that's stop, just like... Just stop. What are you I think if I, I think if my dad and mum were around, I'd rather do my dad and just be like, pat him on the shoulder and say, cheers for taking one for the team, son. James, you know, you know you're digging yourself. <laughs> James, James, you know you're never going to live this down, right? Now you're the feet guy and I'll bum my dad guy. Bum, bum my dad guy. <laughs> 
I'm just saying I, I could live with that. I could live with that better than I can live with doing that. I do have to say though, your logic is is pretty good. It's your dirty, but not is, as dirty. Your logic is sound, but this isn't a question of eating <laughs> shits or eating chocolate flavored shits. This is <laughs> scared to answer, man. I think we found Luke's like threshold. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about my parents in a nice way, let alone on this way. So, Oi, come on. It's all about answering the questions, lad. Yeah. It is. I, <laughs> come on. I, don't want to think <laughs> I think I've already told you what I do. If I'm watching, as far as I'm concerned, that's joining in. All right. All right. So you'd rather watch that. And, uh, so I've already watched them. So whatever the answer is, I've only got to do it once. It doesn't matter. Is there any hardships you'd be willing to share that you've gone through where you can look back on it? And it takes you to a whole different level of intensity and determination to accomplish your goal at hand. Uh, I think looking forward is better. Yeah, but has anything happened in your life where you're like, fuck this, and then you turn it up a notch? Uh, only competitively, I would say. What was that? I got did shit at the Olympia. Fuck this, I've got to redeem myself, kind of thing. Oh, that recently? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. nothing like before just cranked you up. It's more like I've let myself down again. Fuck's sake. Mm. Thought I was over that. Let's go back. Mm. So when you think back from now and you think of your life before now, you, the one thing that stands out the most to you is your last Olympia. That's the most recent. But it's all about your face on the biggest stage in the world when you had everything. Okay, okay. It's the, it's the most recent, but is there something bigger where you're like, you this thing uh, that happened like really yeah, changed my in, life? In, in my personal life and things like that, yeah, there are. But. I think when you think when when wounds are fresher, they're often often a bit more sore, a bit raw. Mm -hmm. you know? So for me, when I for me, it's like as James said earlier, you only remembered by your last outing, and fuck that. <laughs> I don't think that's true. No, it's not. It's not. But I don't think that's true. When you think of Dorian Yates, you don't think of ninety ninety seven Dorian Yates. If you think not, of 94 Dorian Dar Dar Nates. I don't want to people people think about fucking Arnold. I want to bury that and just be better. And everyone will go, wow. I got you. I got you. We're off topic though. So, yeah. okay, I'll give it to James. James. No, no that's, that's what I'm saying. I use that as my like, yeah. fuck you to myself yeah. and to everyone else who doesn't believe I can do it. Yeah. Like I'm thinking like, okay, so I dated a girl, like the first girl I ever dated. I dated for, like first, she was my first everything. I dated for three years. She cheated on me twice. She cheated on me. I took her back and she cheated on me again. That changed me as a man completely. Yeah. Like I'm a totally different person after that versus before that. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, but that's nothing to do with my training. Yeah. yeah. But is it, or is it not? Because when things like that happen, you, I don't know. It's like you, something changes in your fucking head. Right. I think, well, what happened between myself and my ex, which like literally obliterated me mentally and emotionally more, more than I ever thought anything could mm. like that. It still affects me to today, yeah. every day, every day we're and it will probably forever. Okay, so this. So I am, I don't use that in my training. Like, oh yeah. No, that's it's, not what I mean. It's I use it as more. Like, if I think about it, it's like I'm trying to get that power back. It's like I'm trying to be like because I feel. But that's I what I'm like, saying. So that's I my. Like I've been, I feel like I've been hammered down, and I've got to build myself back up mentally. So that's what I'm trying to say. So I feel like people have events in their life that kind of transcend anything specific like training or anything and they change you as a person completely yeah that that's changed me completely forever that's yeah not... so like what i meant so for me for example before that happened to me life was sunshine and fucking rainbows then after it happened i experienced something i was like oh there is some shit in this world i better like batten down everything like you know what i mean harden mm. up a, harden the fuck up a bit yeah and it kind of like then you start uh you start making decisions in your life based on that. Yeah. Based on how you've yeah. had her hardened the fuck up. You well, know what wasn't I, mean? The, I mean, the question was quite specifically in the training, wasn't it? Um, yeah, but this is my point though. My point is, do you think you're better at life or better at training or better at, because things have happened to you that have made you become a better person. And I think training is part of being a better person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I might, be going, I might be going too deep into it, but that's kind of how I feel, right? Like, in a way, I think it depends, it depends on what you, when, when you train. It depends whether you're in there and you shut the rest of the world out or whether hmm. you're in there to deal with the rest of the world. That's, there's no, I turn it off. When, I turn it yeah, off. So, so if I turn it off, I don't think about it. It doesn't fuel my training. So when I'm in the gym and I try and not think about all that shit because it's negative, I'll, 
And I can't turn that into a positive in some way. Okay, but wait a minute. Let, the, let the me. Things like my, my bodybuilding that's let me down that I want to be better and I want to fucking prove it to myself. That shit, when I'm, in, when I'm training on my own or I'm, when I'm in the gym with James and it's my set, that's what matters to me. Because I'm in that moment, I can make myself that little bit better. Okay, but one second. You're thinking superficially still. So on a superficial level, Yes, you're like the last Olympia was shit. And when you go in the gym, it's in your mind and you train harder, right? But on a deeper subconscious level, when the bad things like, like mine might be minuscule to somebody else. Yeah. Maybe somebody else had like a horrible upbringing or whatever, right? When those bad things happen in your life, they shape your work ethic, it's your behavior. No well, your, likely, like likely maybe, like maybe you wouldn't have. Okay, so likely what I'm saying, if I'm saying I'm doing this to, because I've let myself down, Mm. Maybe I'm saying that maybe that stems from something from my childhood, which it likely does. Mm. That's subconscious. Like on the surface, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Subconsciously, there might be the underlying currents. Why do I feel like this in the first place? Why do why do I feel like I need to prove it? But because yeah. I do, and that might be subconscious. Well, that's I'll give you subconscious because I'm not thinking about it. I'll give you another example. So, my father, <laughs> uh, my father was 50 when I was born, so he was like much older, right? My oldest brother is 12, year, 12 years older than me. So he was like a father figure growing up. So I always wanted his approval. When I told him I wanted to bodybuild, he's like, it's shit, don't do it. You're not going to make any money. You're not going to make it. It's like a small chance, blah, 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 blah. That is a, I still remember sitting in the car. I remember the car he was driving. I remember exactly where we were. And those are the kind of defining moments that I'm talking about that shape yeah. kind of how you're going to, how you, what, where you're going to go in life. Yeah, totally. I think you're absolutely right, but it goes back to what you said. That's subconscious. So that, well, that, not, it's not that, subconscious. It's conscious because I know it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. Right? But what I mean is, it's like I don't when I'm in the, when I'm training, I don't refer yeah. back to memories. Yeah. But likely, when I'm saying to when I think about the Olympia, you're saying that's superficial. It might be linked to everything that's subconscious. That's right. But I'm saying I've got to fucking prove it. Well, who to? Mm -hmm. it, literally to everyone. But to yourself, though. Yeah, and to myself. But why would I be thinking about it? Because some people don't think like that. So obviously there is a reason why I think like that. So that's probably the subconscious. Yeah. Tech. I, I, I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you My think, view. James? Um, a, lot, a lot of sighing over there. I want to know where you're, where you're yeah, at. Yeah, no, because I, I've got, there's a couple of things in my life which have, you know, dictated certain things. Obviously, the most obvious one is, is obviously losing mum, which is very um, kind of easy to understand in how that can make someone feel. But also when I was younger... I had this medical issue where I, I was a very late bedwetter. And I've never spoke about this to anybody before. So this is quite cool because I, I like you boys. Mm. And I mean, this went on for a lot, lot, it went on for a lot longer than it should be that way. I was, an, I was pretty much an adult um, and I couldn't understand why. And I had all the medical tests and everything and there was, couldn't find any reason. Uh, and this, this, this stopped actually in my adult years. Okay. So this is something I had, I couldn't ever go on holidays as a kid with the school. Uh, I could never stay at friends' houses. Because I, I literally had this super overactive bladder and I would piss the bed. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it was such a fucking dominating factor in my life, literally. My, my mum, bless her, used to have to like change my bed at like two in the morning every night. Mm -hmm. Because this thing would happen without cause. It was, there was no explanation for it. Uh, I would have to you know, gather up all my things and take them downstairs to the washing machine and put them in. And I'd be tired. I couldn't sleep because I would sleep for two hours and I'd wake up in a fucking bed full of full of yeah. piss. And that's, yeah. no, that's no joke. Honestly, I had this issue. Yeah. And um, that stands out to me because when I was young and I was bodybuilding and I was doing my competitions, I still had that issue. It was still there. Still, but I was like, fuck this. You know what? I ain't got control over that. That's something I don't have any fucking control over. But I will take absolute control in how my body looks, how much work I put in, how hard I work, I see how I win. And I fucking, I would get up in the morning at like 6 a.m. and I'd do my cardio. Despite that fucking shit, because that shit wasn't going to stop me. That wasn't, that wasn't going to define who I was. Mm. I had a massive issue. That, that went on for 20-something years. I'll tell you that now. 20-something years. Imagine being oh, like in your 20s. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. That, and that fucking situation went on. I never yeah. told anyone this. And I still haven't today. This is why I'm, I'm saying it now because I don't give a fuck now because I'm a fucking grown-ass man. But um, that was such a fire up my ass to be better because I had a defect. And I was like, okay, I may, I may be imperfect in one way, but I, I can make myself as close to perfect in other ways. And that was such, that was such a motivation for me, even though mm. it was a bad thing. And it drove everything for 
And when I was winning shows, I was so proud like, of myself just because I knew that I had a real issue and I had something wrong with me. And I was like, you know what? Just because you have something wrong with you doesn't mean you can't do well. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank the Lord, uh, after a certain amount of time, somehow that situation just stopped. There no medical reason, nothing. It just stopped. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I count that as one of the most defining things of my life because it was something that went into my adulthood that determined who I was. Um, obviously, that had gone. And then the second thing that I was going to highlight, obviously, is losing mum was just as big. Um, but that's just something that makes you realize that life's short and that you need to make sure that you're doing what you love. But yeah, like that, uh, I, I, it was mad. It's interesting that you say that because it makes me think of like anxiety because I had a lot of anxiety in my younger years. Mm. It's gotten better now in my older years. Maybe it's a, somewhat, it's a symbol of like, you want to control things that you can control because there's a whole bunch of shit you don't you can't control. One hundred percent. Like I can I could never control like my anxiety was horrible. I couldn't. Yeah. It, I had to I had to avoid so many things in my life. Yeah. In my early twenties and almost into my thirties yeah. too. Yeah. And in high school it was a little bit rough for me at times. I wonder maybe that's why you can control bodybuilding. I can do this. Yeah. And this, this is the result. If I do this, this will happen. A- absolutely. Um. Yeah. I. Looking back at that as well, I feel like it was a psychological issue. I think maybe it was something to do with my dad not being around. But there was something in me that just triggered this thing to happen. And and that is why when I was at school when I was younger, I had this really embarrassing situation going on. But in school, you wouldn't have known it. I, I was I was an arsehole. Like, literally, if someone even looked at me, I'd fucking hit him. Yeah. Because I was like, you know what? Like, I was so embarrassed by that. I was so embarrassed by that. I put that so deep inside that nobody knew it. And on the outside, I was projecting that I was this hard fucking... You were lashing out in a different way. Mate, I, I, I was yeah. just like trying to be something I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then that, it's only now that you're in your 30s that you accept who you are. Maybe I can ask you this then, because it's happened mm. for me like with my anxiety. Mm. When you accept that you... And I don't want to call it an issue because anxiety yeah. is not really an issue. It's just a thing. But mm. when you accept that, that you have something you have to deal with, it makes it it almost like it goes away easier. It makes it easier to deal with. Like maybe when you told that story, the first thing I thought, well, maybe when he accepted, he was wetting the bed, it just stopped. You know what I mean? Because it sounds like, it it sounds like, yeah, it kind of was like that. It was kind of like the, 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 the days that I stopped giving it my attention and being like, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. That's when it started to change. Well, that's how it was. That's how it was with my anxiety. Once I, once I decided yeah. You know what? Because my anxiety used to manifest itself by sweating. Like, yeah, I, I would be at a restaurant or something. I would get nervous and I would start sweating because the nervousness would yeah. make my heart rate go up. And I'm, you know, weighing three, weighing weighing three hundred pounds, I'd start to sweat. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would get nervous because everybody at the dinner table would be like, "Why the fuck is he sweating? It looks like he's doing cardio." And I'd just be yeah, like, yeah, dri- yeah. I'd be dripping. Right? Mm. I think when it ki- came a time when I finally just accepted it, and I would start to talk about it, it started to go away. Because then, if I was sitting at a dinner table with friends. And they they see me sweating. I'd be like, oh, I'm just a little anxious, man. It'll go away, and it would just go yeah. away. And then eventually, it just stopped happening because I just accepted that it's just part of fucking who I am. Do you know what that just tells me? It just tells me that anything that's bottled up inside, eventually, it just needs to come out, and you just need to talk about it. Well, it's a it's a. Do you know what I mean? Just let's just don't don't. You can't always try to fucking force something into the background. Well, it's not the the lesson I got from it was you have to accept who the fuck you are. Mm. You just have to accept you who you are, who your faults, what your faults yeah. are, and absolutely. whoever doesn't like it can fuck off. That's pretty it's much true. the truth, it's right? True. So, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Anyway, we went way, way deep on that. Sorry, Luke. Sorry. <laughs> Exploring um, the horizons, new horizons. Um, okay. Do you all get anxious? Okay. Well, we just talked about this. this wow, is, that's, it's that's, an anxiety. It's an anxiety question. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I do want to, you know, just let me ask it anyway. We won't take too much time on it. Do you all get do you all get anxious? If so, how do you deal with it? And how would you manage your ego and pride because you have a better body than most? I think the second part of that question is actually more important to touch on. Because I don't think because I'm big or I have a better body, it means I don't have any fucking anxiety. So Luke, do you ever get Listen, anxious about anything? Uh yeah, my my uh, I mean you played you played in a band, so I don't know. Does that mean like you're comfortable around people no, or uh, my, my my issue is anxiety based on uh, I've always had horrendous ADHD. That is, I can't do anything about it, and I try, and it, it's it's crippling. You mean like staring? You mean like staring at your phone in the middle of a podcast? It's just, it, 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 it means it, it it means everything. 
it's like I can be right in the middle of doing something important and I'll just get distracted by a thought and then all of a sudden I'm looking at my phone, I've forgotten what I'm doing and I'm like, fuck, it's like been 45 minutes has gone. Mm. And it's not on oh. purpose. It's not on purpose. And, it, and that makes me anxious. <laughs> and I, 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 I always have nervous energy, yeah. anxious energy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm super lethargic at the same time. That's horrendous. That's what I don't like. That's so you don't have you don't have social anxiety. Um, I don't really go out much because I've I've I kind of like to stay at home. So this, no, this no, the whole lockdown thing's great. I don't I don't like putting myself in situations where I have to be around many people. Okay, that's well. We're I think we're all probably introverts, but I think there's a yeah. there's a difference between like an introvert and then social. I think social anxiety is like a uh, step up. No, I think I think in that in those instances I'm I'm relatively okay. Luckily, yeah, yeah. My okay. my anxieties are far more when I'm on my own. Yeah. What do you What do you think, James? Do you think having a physique makes a difference when it comes to top of the topic of anxiety? Because I don't think it uh, fucking matters. No, I, I don't. I don't think. I think the anxieties any of us experience are very rarely to do with our physique. Yeah, they're usually to do with life circumstances. In your head, are you the shed, or are you still James when you were twelve? Because I'm still myself when I was twelve. I'm, I'm still a kid. Oh, I, I, yeah, I'm still pretty much the same. But in my in, in my dreams, I'm always a kid. <laughs> I've never yeah. I'm never me now. Hmm. Yeah, my 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 anxieties never come from uh, the anything bodybuilding. It comes from you know financial security, the the, the normal things that most people would probably get a little bit anxious about. So for, saw- me, for me. For me, bodybuilding adds structure to my life, and without structure, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. But I, I've said, actually I've, takes from the anxiety. Yeah, I mean, I've always said I'm really disorganized. You've seen me in the hotel room, James. Like, I'll be right in the middle of cooking. I'll change the song, and then I've gone, and then I'll just I'm gonna go have a shower, and and you'll be like, you're right in the middle of cooking. I'm like, yep, and then I'm 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 gone. But what bodybuilding does to me is it gives me structure, so I know I've got a certain like yeah. I have to things like that. And I think if you have structure in your life, some way. No matter what it is, I think that can help anxiety no matter how and why you yeah, feel it. It can. It can minimalize, it, definitely. What structure does, it kind of puts you in a template of control. And if yeah. you can, I think if you can take each day as in segments rather than look at the whole fucking day, it becomes more manageable like, mm-hmm. because Absolutely. you're organizing yourself. You know, it's yeah. funny. I saw a therapist once, like when my anxiety was at its peak, I was probably like in my late 20s. And obviously, for those of you who don't know, uh, steroids affect anxiety too. So if you have a little bit of anxiety, when you take gear, you're probably going to have more anxiety. So my anxiety got worse the more into bodybuilding I got. But I saw a therapist once and he said, so you have social anxiety. And I said, yeah. And he goes, you don't like it when people look at you. And I go, well, I just don't like when people stare at me and stuff. And he goes, do you realize you weigh like 280 pounds and you're just, you're a bodybuilder and you have a mohawk and everything you've done in your life is to get people to look at you. And I was like, wow. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it fucking, it didn't hit, it didn't dawn on me. Yeah. It's almost like you're doing the opposite of who it's like when he said that to me, I thought to myself, am I doing this shit because I don't want to be stuck in that. You're making yourself look like who you want to be. That's right. You're, you're projecting kind of like the opposite of how you feel yeah. so you can like break out of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you think, that's, you often, that's, often, like, that's often the roots of bodybuilding. Everyone always thinks that because you're a bodybuilder, like there's, I mean, there's lots of people at my gym, like, and probably the same, probably not the same for you because you're more well known in yours, but in my in where I train, there's a lot of people in there because Sarah works by the counter some days that think I'm an arrogant prick and they don't oh. like me at all. Yeah. And they've never spoken to me ever. Yep. Ever. They don't know anything about me. They just look at me and assume that. Mm-hmm. But then what they've understand is most bodybuilders are very polite and nice because most of them are quite shy. Can I? I'll tell you that. And, and, and when you're when you're big, and when you're big, and you're shy, that every time that comes across as arrogance. Yeah, I'll tell you the number one comment I used to get from everybody. I don't get as much anymore because now I go out of my way to talk to people, so they realize them. That's because you're small. No, no, no. Listen, the number one comment I used to get from everybody was, "Oh man, I thought you were an asshole." Every single fucking person that met me. And then after yeah. that, they go, you are. <laughs> no, because no, I wouldn't let them talk to me for long enough. I'd, I'd just peace out before they could find out I was a real, yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. dick. No, but that, that's because you're right. Because we're big and we're shy. And people didn't know I had anxiety. I I would go to shows. And that's where you're supposed to be comfortable. But I wouldn't talk to nobody. I'd just be around my friends and that's it. And people would be like, that guy's a fucking dick. And it was really just because I was just didn't want to be, you know, I was scared i guess i don't know if scared is the right word but anxious i mean people use the word insecurities i don't think it's even that 
I just didn't know how to fucking talk to. I, I have a fucking problem with small talk. I'm not good at small talk. Yeah, I don't do it. Like, have you ever passed? Have you ever been at the mall or something, and you see like a friend you you knew from high school, but you're like you're not really really friends. You're kind of like, and you know if you see them, you're gonna have to stop and have like small you're talk. Just <laughs> just, I just turn the corner and go a different uh, way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are, you, I are, you, are you like me? You're really blunt with people, aren't you? Yeah, I, I just don't. I, I don't do good with small talk, man. I'm not. I'm one of these people that like Ben is always like, shh, and when we're like we're talking <laughs> to people because when somebody's talking bollocks, yeah, or they're just bullshitting, like most people politely go, yeah, oh yeah, they know you. They know you're lying. They just yeah, go yeah. along with it. Yeah. I just go, hmm, you're talking <laughs> utter bollocks. And I'll just butt in and be like, that's, that's bollocks. You're lying. Yeah. Right? Because I'm, I'm so blunt. Yeah. And it's like, I think that's, again, because small talk's just rubbish to me. It's like, if you yeah. want to have a conversation, let's have a conversation. Don't ask me how the fucking weather is, because neither yeah. of us give a fuck. But small, you, talk is, small talk is forced. It's not genuine. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's weird, though, now, being in, in like, the business there's a lot of small talk. Like if you call a supplier, if you call a store or whoever, you, you can't just be like, okay, so how many units do you want? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you gotta, yeah, absolutely. You can't, you, you just, you got to call and be like, how's the store doing? How are you doing? And it's like a new, it's like that, a new. That to, me, to me, I don't know if that's small talk or whether that's just actually having a nice polite conversation. To me, small talk is like if, when you're in the, you're, you're at the cashier, she's there, you've got four boxes of eggs, you like eggs? Hey, you like, you like eggs? <laughs> it's like just, just, just shut See, up. See that? I'm okay with that conversation though, because I'm like, yeah, I like eggs. Or is that when you go when you go to the counter, like they just say things like, oh, "It's very warm today, isn't it?" You're like, yeah, of course it is. It's fucking August. I don't mind a single line here and there. Like I said, the the, the scenario where like you see a friend from high school and you have to stop. Yeah. Be like, so how's life? You know, do you have any kids? Like, are you married? But really, you don't give a shit because you're like, yeah. I haven't seen this person in 25 years, yeah, and I'm probably, not, and I'm probably not going to see him for another 25 years. I'm not yeah. good. It's not that I don't want to be good at those conversations. Yeah. I'm just yeah. not good at them. I don't know how to. It's, it's like you. Just, it's like it's you. Because, just, it's because with, you don't want to sound. You don't care, and it's hard yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. it, it, honestly, it's as simple as that. You don't care, and it's it's absolutely fine to say you don't care. Because isn't that, isn't it selfish to not care? Though? Because because uh, no one gives a fuck about your answers either. To but, small talk, but so, it's, but it's, it's just it's just pol- it's just it's just politeness, and I'm I'm always polite. But I know I know that the person I'm talking about doesn't give a fuck about my opinion on the weather. They couldn't care less. But is it but isn't it about- isn't it self centered to not care how that person's doing? No, because no, because I said, as I said, that to me isn't small talk when you're talking about yeah. as a person. That kind of stuff's okay. Uh, I want to know what James. I want to know James. Just, that, James. Just when it's just shit small talk. But also, Wait, me and you, yeah. me and you have a different opinion of small talk, Luke. I don't mind <laughs> the, I don't mind the cashier or the waitress or whatever. Those yeah. little line. I don't mind those. To be fair, the people you're on about, Rod. Yeah. They're normally trying to do the same with you. They're usually trying to fucking avoid you as well. <laughs> I know that, <laughs> and that's and that's that's the truth. So really, you're just do, you're doing both each other a favour by just doing that swift swift night. Well, you, you, you make me stand out because you're you always engage with small talk, and I'm just like, okay, I I'm do. just I just glaze over whether you engage with everyone no matter what they're talking about. Yeah, but I don't, but I don't consider uh, it's, that's the funny thing is because it depends on what you consider small talk, isn't it? I feel yeah. like I can turn something small sometimes into something a little bit bigger. Mm. And I always try, but it's probably a stupid thing to do. <laughs> no, because Paul, like Paul, my training partner is like that, right? He can talk to fucking anybody about anything. Mm. He's got a whole bunch of acquaintances. And I'm like, how do you do that, man? I'm like, what? Like, yeah, but you can do that. You run a very, you run a, you run a couple of very successful. No, 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 no. Like I'll give you, the, I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll give you like the guy from muscle and strength. I don't know if you've, have you shot with muscle and strength yet? Dan, you know, Dan, uh, the, video, the videographer guy. So Dan's a cool guy. I like Dan. We talk. But he gets in the car with me and Paul. Paul talks his fucking ear off. They're like best friends by the time we get to the restaurant. He just met him like 10 minutes ago. And they're like, mm. and it's because, how's the weather in Atlanta? Oh, yeah? Really? Oh, the weather here is the, and I'm like, how yeah. the fuck does that yeah, happen? I think, I think with me, I think everyone else doesn't care either. That's so how I, just I think it's like, So I think you don't give a fine fuck about what I'd say or anything about me. So I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> That's, That's normally I what I think. Because it's like, but I, like I said, it's not that I don't care about people. I don't care. It's not that I don't want to talk to people. It's just I find the very, very small talk 
more awkward than anything else. Mm. So I would rather, like, you know, you said you phoned them up, how is business doing? Mm. That's quite an interesting question to ask because it, yeah. it actually has pertains to your business. But talking Ooh. about the fucking weather, don't you? Yeah, I fuck. guess I guess the business one was a little different. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, kind of small yeah. talk I don't mind because it's it's yeah. somewhat like, engaging a bit. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah. But just really small, small talk is just it's I I always, find it kind of awkward. I always feel like there's something wrong with me because I'm like maybe maybe you should care. Maybe there's something. Maybe you're a selfish person. Maybe you should care how the person's doing and how their mm. how their weather is where they are and all that. Maybe, maybe. James, why are you so yeah. quiet over there? What do you think? Because I'm just, I'm just thinking about people that I like talking to. I'm even considering own family members now. <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, do I, do I even talk to them? Because I'm quite bad at keeping in touch with people. Um, I'm horrible at that. Yeah, yeah you are. So you didn't even tell your training partner you're with a new coach. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought I'd save it for the show because then we can discuss on live. <laughs> you well, fucking live-ish. sent Jordan everything. You've sent me nothing. Fuck well, so. Jordan, Jordan asked me actually. Yeah, but that's because he <laughs> knew because you yeah. told him. No, he actually asked me before. Why would he ask? Him? See, Luke, that's me and you. Me and Luke are the same. Luke, you did not ask him. So yeah, he Luke, didn't... why would I all of a sudden go? Are you working with Patrick Tio when I've not seen it or heard no, no, anything about it? Because what Jordan does, Jordan messes me most days and says, "I was training today, bud." And then See? because the small conversation becomes the big conversation, it all comes out. <laughs> Jordan doesn't even follow me on Instagram, so. He's, he's probably jealous of your Jordan, mind. Is he? Jordan has avoided my podcast three times now, so there's no more asking. Oh, that's three, right. Jordan? Three, three different times. He's like, yeah, I'll three do strikes. it. He's like, three times. He's like, yeah, I'll do it. And then I'm like, okay, just let me know what day or time and we'll set Absolutely. it up. Well, why don't you tell him what day and time? Because I don't do that, man. I let my guests pick a day and I work around their schedule. Oh, uh, Oh, well, well, do you offer I'm, them a handful of times and days and they can Because I tell people any fucking time you want. <laughs> but when you tell people that, when you give them an inch, they take a mile. No, because well, like, no, if somebody wants to come on the show, they'll say, okay, how's Tuesday at three? And I'll be like, cool. If somebody doesn't want to come on the show, they just won't message you back. And I'm okay with it. I just, I'm not going to ask them again is all. So I feel bad now. I feel like we've dug Jordan out. I've no, in, no, it's cool. I, in, I haven't. Put him in deep water. <laughs> no, no. Listen, Jordan's Jordan's great. He actually helped me a long time ago. It's like a supplement stack. I asked him, not a steroid stack. A supplement stack. I asked him about, no, and he was sure. very, very like. Oh, I just want to clarify so people don't think like he. Yeah, no, no. Know. He's he's a very helpful guy. He was very helpful he, and everything. He, so yeah, I know. I have nothing against him, but just some people. He, I just, he, he 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 socially he is actually a socially awkward guy. You well. know what bothers me? I just it it doesn't bother me. I just wish, like, if people say they don't want to come on. I'm actually not offended. It's just easier than chasing them. Like, like William Bonac. Like, I asked Bonac to come on, and Bonac was like, "Dad, it's not really my thing." So I'm like, "Okay, cool." I don't. I, I, I haven't bugged him again, right? So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. um, okay, let's skip through. We've been on for fucking how long has it been? An hour? What time do we start? One o'clock or twelve thirty? It's been longer than a, it's been longer than an hour, surely. It's been four years. Four years, I think. Yeah. It's been just. It's been two hours. <laughs> If you had to fight an alligator or a giant python to the death, which would you pick? Fuck. And you can I, only, I actually, you can only uh, use your hands. No idea. They're both fucking terrifying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Say that again. I wasn't paying attention. Say it again. This is the last question, then we'll go because it's been a couple hours. So fucking alligator or a python. If you had to fight an alligator or a pi- a giant python to the death, who would you pick? And you can only use your hands. Fuck that alligator because they're quite small. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Crocodile would be bigger, yeah, right? A giant python would wrap around you and fuck you A up. giant python, they're fast and you're fucked. They're like as... They're th- fast? They're, than, they're the middle of them are thicker than we are. Yeah, but are they fast? I didn't think they were fast. Well, they're well, do, you they they're, 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 do you think they just like latch onto a deer nice and slowly? I don't know. I've, not, I've never really seen one kill something. I've only really? seen you it. Really? You've not seen it on that channel? I've, I've, only, I've, seen it when on it's, I've only seen it when it's already wrapped around something. I, I think what they, they normally do is they launch, they launch out of nowhere. Launch. They come out of their launch. head, and they, they bite, and then start rapping instantly. Let me see. Yeah, let's find it. Let's find it. It's exciting. Uh, well, uh, you guys talk while is... I find it. I've seen Because that's what the smaller ones do. But I, don't, but I would imagine a giant one would do the same. Because, I mean, you can't just sneak up on a gazelle, you know? A python is no fucking joke. Is it like a boa constrictor? Is that, is that, I mean, Dave just, just imagine. Dave Palumbo, he'd be in though, because he loves reptiles, doesn't he? It's, he it's, like a, it's like a tentacle with a claw at the end. Essentially. Here's a, here's a giant python eating an alligator. Fuck's sake. Look at a monkey. I saw a monkey getting fucked up. 
I think that's what it's up. So it's up, oh. oh, wait, is he getting away? He ain't getting away, surely. Poor fucking alligator. He's going to get crunched. Did Damn you it. see that one of the, uh, the on the, I think it was Real Nature or something the other day, there was a, um, a snake that was eating a rat and the rat was still alive. Oh, I saw that. And, and it, it ate its way out. <laughs> and they both oh, died. They both died. <laughs> Stupid fucking snake. This has got to be the worst. They are pretty quick. That's not a nice way to go, is it, boys? You know, the only thing I can think of being worse than dying than this is getting eaten by like hyenas because they eat you while you're alive. Yeah. At least here, things eat you while you're alive. But in this, I think no, like big, big cat. (laughs) No, like big cats will kill you first, right? I think, I think in this um, instance, I think you suffocate. Yeah, you'd suffocate before. Will probably be alive. Oh, mate. Can't you somehow fucking wedge that wanker's mouth open? Like, just, just, skip, just skip it a little bit more, mate. Just stick it at the halfway. Or see like, how... I, I, if, if, if I was in that fucker's mouth, oh, I would have, el- el- well in it. I'd have it? elbow to elbow fucking wedging its mouth open. Come on, like, just keep. We want to see what he's like. He's got. Does he finish it? He's gonna finish it. Fucking hell! Look, I just savage, savage. Have you seen an alligator or a crocodile take down like a whole fucking deer? Look at this thing. I well, would have to... But surely now that... <laughs> Look at that greedy bastard. How, how can it not eat its way out of that? Like, from the inside, like, claw its way out? Because it can't open its mouth. It can't move no, its no, mouth. No, its claws, and... like... I don't know. It's so tight. It's, it's so constricted. Tight. It's no, constricted. that's what I mean. It's like, it's fucking crazy. It can't... Because that alligator is probably going to be... Listen, like, that, one, it, it, it's probably in, still alive. Once you're in that hole, you ain't getting out, bro. That's insane, man. Look at so it. What's it going to do? Is it just, does it just... Sit there and die. But now it's going to digest it. With his acidy stomach. Jesus. It's not even. Weak. It's probably dead already, and it was probably um probably dead before it was swallowed. Oh, fucked up way to go. Yeah, crushed to death. What are you so now? we're oh. so we're picking the python, or we're picking uh, the uh, alligator. Oh, no, alligator. You got more chance, man. You got more yeah. chance than alligator. Here's a python you and got... alligator. This is before. Let's just, let's have let's fight, see how they attack. You got no chance with a python. It's too wiggly. <laughs> Is. Look, look at that little fucker. How you saw if this and this, how would you pick this? That's t- that's insane. Oh, mate, it's sneaking up on him. Look, it's just fucking him up. Like, you could just be... Side, side, was it blindsided him? <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> podcast ever. We're literally just watching YouTube. <laughs> well, you can just we edit need... out for the audio one, can't you? We don't need David Amber. Just edit all the YouTube shits out for the audio version. I'm not editing it. Oh, fuck it. They can watch it with us. if they're in a, they oh, oh, you mean the audio version? Yeah, when they're oh. like sitting in their car listening to just radio silence. I'm just, oh my God, look at this snake. Okay, well, if, they can't see the snake. if you want to watch what we're watching and you're listening and you want to watch afterwards, it's Python. It's probably like... Alligator 16. It, 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 oh. oh! 16 of these. It clamped onto its nose. Yeah, the crocodile's fucking has got it there. Got he has to. No, I don't think he has, mate. I don't think he has. Because he could just crush his head in his mouth. <sighs> it looks like the... Oh, oh it needs to... I, I want the, I'm want. i rooting for the crocodile, but or alligator, whatever it is, but... I want to know how the how the python's going to kill this thing. Did you get it? Look at that what little mouth. Have... What the fuck is he going to do? Well, you've just seen they dislocate the jaw and you can swallow the whole thing. Yeah, like that literally. thing though, like you could dislocate your jaw yeah, that much. Yeah, yeah. That's Look, a if big he croc. that, I think he's going down. Oh, wait, he's wrapping around, he's prepping, but he's fucking eating it at the same time. How is that not? Like, he, why... he's, he's, not he's not eating, he's just bit him, he's just got him on lock. Yeah, but why wouldn't he bite down and like cut him in half? Because oh, he probably is too dumb, he doesn't realize he hasn't got the fucking IQ to know. Maybe he's so? just relaxed. Yeah, I think he's a bit too simple. Snake's going to fuck him up now. What the fuck? Now he's back out? He got out. Oh, I don't know. Well, I would say I would rather definitely fight the alligator because at least I can Are see they fucking he's stupid doing. or something? Just, why, is, why is the crocodile like, just not biting him? Why? <laughs> it's, it's just... What? <laughs> All right, well, I, what would win out of a python and a hippo? Because a python surely couldn't eat a hippo. A hippo, exactly. Hippos Stunt. are aggressive as fuck. Yeah, it would exactly. chop it in half. What are you talking about? Hippos That's are really like aggressive. Massive. That's what I said, what would win against a, like a, a tank or a sniper? I know, but I'm just saying, imagine the snake trying to... What could it do? It couldn't even get its mouth around its fucking nose. Can, can, I, can I finish with this question? Because it made me laugh. And I'm actually yeah, really yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Would James allow a woman to stick her big toe in his arse? Asking for a friend. I, I probably would. <laughs> 
I probably would, but I don't really like <laughs> things up my ass. I, I'm not a mad. I don't really like things up my ass anyway. I'm not really an ass man for myself. No, Luke just knows. feet. I've Luke this many times. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't mind the feet, but I don't want them in my arsehole. All right. So on that note, see you later, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't let you wouldn't let dip the toe then, mate. In the gravy pot. If in the in the gravy pot. So gross, dude. <laughs> the gravy pot. That's fucking disgusting, man. No, but the uh, oh. American gravy is white. Okay, last question, and then we'll go. Come on, yeah, I like this. This is fun. What are y'all's first and final y'all. thoughts? Well, I must Fuck be. <laughs> I'm just reading say, the question. Say it again without the y'all. <laughs> what are your first and final thoughts of the day? Um, Robert, first, what are your first? Well, okay, let's do one at a time. What are your first thoughts of the day? When you wake up, it's the first thing you think of. Ah, another day. It's just like no, it's typical. Not. It is. It's just like, oh, I'm grateful to be up. That's way. seriously what you think? You're a really positive person, eh? I am. I'm like, man, I made it for another night without dying. What about you, Luke? I'd rather not say the real answer, but I'd probably... Come on. Know. What's the real answer? No, no. Tell, tell us the real where's answer. Where's the, where's the pussy cat? What, and then I say, what time is it? I normally think, where's the dog? I'm like, have I rolled on him? And uh, what's the real what answer? What's the real answer? <laughs> Luke, you what's can't the, fucking do this, dog. What's the real answer? <laughs> no. Come on, come on. There's nobody listening. It's just me, just us. It's just us. We're off air. We're off air now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Right, no. What the fuck is it? That top secret? No, I just thought. I, I just thought. No, it's just. It's, it's, it's some some things are left unsaid. Is it really gay? Is that what it no, is? It's a bit, <laughs> it's not really. No, it's, it's, been, it's been like that way for like. It's quite morbid, so I don't really want to say it. Morbid, it, fuck. Is sake. it really gay? <laughs> no, it's morbid. That's even worse. Fuck. It's morbid. Yeah, I don't. I, with, after if we if there, we I'm get if out. we guess, will you tell us? No. What the fuck? How are we going to find out then? Luke wakes up. You're not going to. That's why I'm saying. Let's. What's the next fucking question? All right. Mine is mine is probably mine is usually lately. Mine is, oh my back. <laughs> Mine's usually what's the time. I usually wake up what and I'm the first thing. The, the first thing that hits me is the pain in my lower back, and then I'm like, okay, and I get up, and then I'm like, where's my phone? And then where I, are my pants? <laughs> where's that from? Yeah. Huh? Where's that from? It just came to my head. It's from the Lego Movie. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right, fine. That's a really underrated film. That's definitely for adults. That's okay, it. before Batman you go on, well. final thoughts of the day. Final thoughts today. Can you tell us this one, or is this top secret too? It's, yeah, it's to, to me, it's normally the same kind of thing, but I just it's more like I have a, if I go to bed and I've done everything I wanted to do that day, I'm in a, I can go to bed and, like, and quite restfully go to bed. If I haven't, I'm quite restless and I'm normally on my phone for fucking hours. Just I'm really annoyed that I don't know what your, your thought or first thought of the day is. I'm really, it's really bothering me. It's a real it's, puzzle. It's, isn't it? it's, it's a bit like James. It's like um, it's like. James um, told us. James told us he peed the bed for twenty years, man. That's how serious exactly. we we got. And you can't uh, even tell us. I got deep for today, and you didn't even. Yeah, give well, me that's, that's, that's up to you, mate. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I pay somebody to tell these things to. <laughs> you motherfucker. Do you, tell, do, you have a ther- do you have a therapist? Yeah, I do. You now. do? Really? Yeah, I do. Now. Yeah. Huh. How often do you see him? Uh, I was. I, I mean, before this happened, it was more, It was supposed to be once a week. Why do you have a therapist when you have me to talk to every week? I can help solve all your problems right here. Listen, I saved your marriage, and now it's time for me to save myself. <laughs> you did not save my marriage. <laughs> uh, no, it's, can't it's, be it's, hero. It's, it can't be everyone's hero. You can't be everyone's hero. You've always got. I think it's just important to have somebody because I, I don't. I don't know how to even convey what I mean, let alone feel most of the time. Oh, so you you have somebody that can help you kind of articulate things and get it uh, get it out like, kind of yeah because i don't yeah. really know what to make of anything because it's it's probably it probably goes back to the adhd thing when i'm even when i'm thinking of things deeply i get distracted by a different thought like are you the my, kind of guy that doesn't know how to articulate your feelings or does it want to i i want to more than anything and i can't more than anything but is it because yeah. you're shut is it because you're shut like some well, people like, well, some people yeah, are like, some people like, are literally like, shut off and they don't it takes you have to open like I've, I've i've been in the in like you say i've like been in a like in a relationship with, then it's perfect and i just go ah oh, i can't do this and i just fuck it off yeah <laughs> it's like it normally it normally comes as like self-sabotage because it's like yeah like it's like i don't even know how to be happy yeah yeah i it's, get it i get it what i mean no, I, know exactly, I know exactly what you mean. I think, that, I think that's a very human thing for, yeah, well, for yeah, everybody. Yeah, but yeah, it's a very... It is. 
yeah, and it's crazy. like and I, i've been i've had i've had um like i had, I had like special needs at school basically i like um te- i had somebody sitting with me in classes i had to go to extra meetings every day i had like not a shrink but somebody that i talk to every day like anger management kind of things all for yeah, school yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, yeah. um, i think it was mostly because they didn't want to put me on any medication for anything yeah which, yeah, I, yeah. which is actually what i'm looking into now I don't think there's anything wrong with it. A lot of people have a negative connotation with. Uh... I've I've never tried it, and um, and I was um, before this whole virus thing was gonna, was kicked off. I'd actually was booked in to have some actual tests done. I'll mm-hmm. see if it was. There was. I know um, a lot of people. I know a lot of people take uh, Paxil or Zimbalta or Zoloft or any of those like. I mean, I'm, 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 if I don't like it, I don't have to do it. But if I do it and it works, great. If it doesn't, then I'll just you know I'll crack, I'll crack on with something else. The doctor, my my doctor tried to put me on. I think it was Zimbalta or Zoloft. I can't remember which one it was back in the day, and I didn't I didn't want to do it. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think to me, I think the only problem is people that don't try every other option first. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, obviously you have. I mean, the thing been, is, I mean, a lot, a lot, I mean, I've got a lot of friends um, and they're always like, yeah, you can talk to me about it, about anything. It's like, well, I can't really because a lot of this shit, I don't actually want you to know. Yeah, we've all got some of those That's, things. I don't know. Well, not all of us, but many of us. I don't think I have any of those things. Uh, I don't, yeah, I can't, do. I can't, I mean, it's cool if you do. I don't think I can think of anything because my philosophy has always been if I got a friend and I can't talk to him, then there's not a friend. No, yeah. there's just sometimes though. To me, it's not that. There's to me, there's things like I, Too deep. I'm, not, I'm not even comfortable saying out loud, like because yeah. mm. it makes me think about it. I've lived a pretty, I've lived a pretty sheltered life though. So no, like, I, I, I've, I've had a great life. It's not, it's not that. But these things. No, no, no. I'm not saying great. No, great's the wrong word. It's not about measuring like whether it's good or bad. I'm saying. No, I mean it's like I, I, I'm not saying I've had a, like a traumatic. I mean, I've just. Yeah, you know, it's not that. It's not like yeah, I, yeah. it's not like I was like I'm Anne Frank, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, and that's part of the reason why I don't like to talk about a lot of things because people will probably be like, "What the fuck are you moaning at?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, but everybody's problems are insignificant to somebody. Yeah, yeah exactly. So there's just, always like, there's always somebody with a a, a so, worse. So it's better to just speak to somebody impartial to help you deal with things. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not it's not it's I have always I always kind of said it's you can't control how you feel. How you deal with it is under your control. Mm. But <laughs> I, it, for me, it isn't sometimes. Yeah. And that's how it feels. I haven't got my hands on, my, on the reins. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oops. Wow. This came from a question that was, what do you think first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening? Just shows uh, the extent. Every see what happened, James had on the show, we got really deep. We didn't talk about ass at all this show. I know. You just said really deep and ass in the same... Uh, well, and we were talking about yeah. There's people in the there's people in the uh, in the comments now wanting Sarah to come on and answer questions. Let's do it. But <laughs> Fucking I think no. That's, I think that's dangerous for you. It's not because every, all the answers that everyone she'll just be like yeah, and they'll be boring because they'll be like she'll just be all of her answers will be what everyone's expecting them to be. One word is <laughs> just yeah. leave your leave your private life. Exactly. Out of it. Exactly. Yeah. She she loves it. She thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, I think she, people... she's she she's that like like. I think I'm, she was on my story yesterday for about five seconds. Yeah. And people were just like, just anal. <laughs> just that word. Like, so I just crazy. kept showing her and she was like. You know, I said this to my wife yesterday. I said, uh, I forget what she was talking about. We we're going to do a video about something. And I said, you know what? You have to be careful what you tell people because there, are, there is a small percentage of people that will use it against you. 100%. So, That's, well, that goes back to like, what were you just saying? Talking yeah. to people. Remember, I had a remember. Remember, I did the whole blood pressure video and all that. Yeah. There was so much shit that came. Oh, from. you get cunts like, oh, you're a diabetic yeah. cunts like. Yeah. You know, oh, I was no, just no. trying. I was just trying to help people yeah. that might have had blood pressure issues or didn't know or just whatever. You know, something came from a good place. Yeah, exactly. But there's a small faction of people that use it and fucking throw it back in your face. Fuck that so. faction. <laughs> yeah Welcome. anyway all right guys look it's been a couple hours sorry i kept you guys so long but um was that, was that a good one oh, that was really that was that was a roller coaster again that one might have been a different tone you know what though i think that's what people like about it though wow that was a soup of emotions so, like james was nearly in tears i had a, I had a lump in my throat at one point listening Mate. to him talk i think Crazy. listen man we, honestly you know, there was like there was a there was a bit of Pissing each other off at some points, disagreeing. I didn't piss you. you guys got pissed. You got pissed off the most. Me? Yeah, no, you did. 
Yeah, every every you always want to get the messages like, oh, why? Do you? I no, no, why? I got a message you? last time. As I said, Luke said Luke didn't seem like he wanted to do the podcast this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm telling you, listen, you got pissed off because me and James started having a good time before you got here. I honestly didn't give a good time. Fuck about that. I was just annoyed at myself for leaving everything downstairs to I'm rush just, up here. I'm just fucked. And then you got pissed off at James because he's working with a trainer and didn't tell you did, about did, it. Didn't share the news. I know. I, my bad. I thought I'd save it for the... Mate, if I left the CETO and you found out I was working with like Harney Rambo and I hadn't told you about it, what the fuck, man? I would expect you to save it for a prestigious I don't, show like I don't this. Think, I don't think James would be upset. I wouldn't I'm, not upset. I'm, not I'm, not upset. I'm just a bit like, well, I didn't see it coming. You know what I... This episode I, is the exact opposite to everything we've discussed in the last few months. You know literally, what I... Yeah. Literally the opposite. You know what I enjoy about this episode? That's why I'm a bit like, what is going on? I enjoy this episode because I I enjoy this episode because I finally figured out Luke is just as sensitive as I am. It just you have to get it out of him. And then you're like, okay. It depends if I'm tired, I think. No, I think you just hide hide it you hide it better than I do. We needed to open him. We had to bridge him with us three. We took the three of us. I keep yeah. you keep, but the thing is, you keep telling me that I got pissed off, and I'm not, I'm sat here not pissed off. So I am a bit. Not anymore. I think I think you're over it now. No, no. Yeah. You, you you're the one telling me I got pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were pissed, and you started like, you're just like you're flying fuck. I'm just fucking with you, man. All right. Um. Okay. Next week. Um. Yeah. James, thanks for coming on. You guys are gonna no do worries. your you guys are gonna do your three hundred live feeds that you do every week. Yeah, so. we've got we've got our, our Wednesday our new setup. <laughs> the new setup's sick, to be fair. You what? Three good. I'm gonna uh, I think by the time we're in the next podcast, I'm I might have moved my studio. What the fuck are you talking about? What's going on? Well, the bedroom I've got a bedroom either side of this room that yeah. are four times at least four times the size. But they're still uh, only going to see this little square. So it's no, because I can have actually whatever I want in the in the back, and I can just. Oh, the, okay. Cause also, because I want to extend the, the electric kit. You're going to get rid of the uh, brick wall. People are going to be pissed off. I was actually. I'm tempted to get green screen, and then just every show we do have just a different background. That is cool. <laughs> and, like and it could be, and it could, and sometimes I'll, I'll have a brick wall as the background. <laughs> <laughs> this exact just rotate. Just rotate. Just rotate. So wait walls. a minute. Am I understanding this correctly? You guys have your own podcast now. No, 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 we don't do it. So basically, when we do our live feed every Wednesday, we don't, do our, we don't do it from our phones on, on uh, uh, just like normal Instagram live. We go through a link and it takes us to like YouTube live, Facebook, Facebook live, and Instagram live all at the same time. But we're on our computers. Mm. And Johnny Styles is also kind of curating this. And whatever subjects we talk about, he gets the subject matter up on screen. That, so questions that, coming up and all this stuff. It's interesting. That sounds like a podcast. No, not really. It's just Red, it's, like, it's only it's only forty five minutes long as well. <clears throat> it's forty five minutes. It's a live, It's like a live Q and A. Just like, yeah. and we, but like Johnny's yeah. there asking us questions. Yeah, it's meant to be a Q and A, but it goes in weird directions. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. He's okay. You see the well, don't worry. I'm I'm not stealing your boy. It's not you. It's not you, James. It's I'm not stealing your boy. It's Singerman sees what's going on. I see him playing games. He's what? You know, it wasn't Aaron's idea. This is oh, this is hundred percent. Hundred percent, for sure. That's come down from the top. I don't think Aaron gives a shit about our live feed. I bet I he Aaron watch. He doesn't I bet watch Aaron us. doesn't even. I bet Aaron doesn't even know we do it. I don't think he does. I bet you he does. He, does, he doesn't know what the James and Luke little. Show I think is. Aaron just let. I think because James and I are not divas and we do everything we we're expected to do. I think he just leaves us to it. We've kind no, of no, but he know, but he knows. <laughs> he probably leaves you to it, but he knows what's going on. Yeah, I. I, well, yeah, I would, I would hope so. But I, honestly, this whole live feed, I don't think he had any, any, not say in it. But I don't think it, we were the ones that suggested it. I think actually we did it once, and then we were like, we should do this every week. And then yeah. they got the live feed set up for other stuff, and then we, now we've just piggybacked on the top of that software, and it's just pretty cool. I think it was the virus that actually made this come about. It was the virus. Like, we need to, we need to be more active. Like need they to do need something. To do- yeah, yeah, because obviously wholesale and stuff's all a little bit affected at the minute, and mm. so that everyone's got. To I try think I've probably done. Up. 15 other podcasts in the last three weeks yeah You've i know a lot, actually. i've seen that yeah it's, good. it's like everybody's doing because it's the only thing you can do now is I, I did uh i did ron line earlier with ron yeah, yeah. how did that go good i like it's good to catch up ron's a good guy Very ron good ron's show is like very very bodybuilding centric oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much. so very much. it's yeah. good okay well next week Pleasure. yeah just let me know when. all right
Let's do it. I'm going to go eat. Another time. One more question before you go. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's, my day, it's my day off, and I want to train. What should I do? Don't train. Stop I, just want, I just want the approval from somebody. I know what I should do. Yeah. I just want somebody Listen, to say, yeah, go train. Rest. Rest, because think of the pump tomorrow, how good it'll be. Yeah, that's true. It'll be double. I fucking pizza. hate taking days off. Pizza. I do as well, but do it. Pizza. Okay, fuck it. I'll stay home and have a pizza. Chill the fuck out and get yes. massive pump tomorrow. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. All good. I trained back today. It was pretty good. You're going to get a pizza? Mm, maybe. James? I think I, I'm, I've got so much food in this new fucking plan. There's no room. Oh, you just started a new plan. You can't do it. Oh, it's too much food. Have you, really. Did you tell Chris? What? About this? That you moved to Patrick? I've told Chris I'm on a, on a, on a pause for the off season, and then I'll holler him later. So nice I'll just message. You know, it's, it's one of those things. That's the honest answer. Nice. <laughs> He's okay with a pause? Like, yeah, because obviously, because this coronavirus thing come and Chris had, uh, was affected with the. He's obviously got business and stuff, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, uh, and I was, I felt really bad for him actually, because obviously he was hit, I think, quite hard. Mm. So I was just like, you know what, I just, I can look after myself in the meantime. We'll catch up when needs be. I'll keep myself in a good place, and that's kind of like where I left it. If we want to see, and I didn't really want to hassle him because of the, because of everything he's going through personally right now. So. Mm. Mm. It's just one of those things, but you know, I still, I still talk to Chris and whatnot. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sending him ten lots of pictures every day, uh, just yeah. constantly. I think you, you're, you, you have a great, him like, left, right, and center. You're, you're his number, like you're his p- potential number. I, one, I, I don't. I haven't sent him pictures in weeks. We just speak once a week. And it's good. nothing to do with bodybuilding usually. He normally just sends me a funny link to a YouTube video. That's, that's nothing. To do with me. That that, that's the, that's the relationships I was trying to say to before earlier. So those are great things to create, and if you have that kind of relationship with someone and it goes that way. That's a bonus. Mm-hmm. I've always really liked uh, Patrick's way, what he does with people. I, I like Patrick because he's very, um, very on on it. Like he, he I've always been. Me I've, he's one of he's one of those coaches. I've always been a bit fascinated by what he does with people. He's great. He's really honestly. He's a, he's a fantastic. Like I'd like to get him on a podcast at some point and pick his brains and just let him speak so people can understand. Because they're really good. You I was thinking him, about that. Fraud. Get him honestly, seriously. Get him on. I'd watch that straight away. I watched. Uh, I actually. I usually follow people for a bit before I get them on, so I can kind of. Yeah, like, yeah. So I started yeah, follow. Yeah. I started following him like a month ago. Yeah. So I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Reach out and see if you want to come on. Oh, so honestly, that'd be a really good episode. And I think you'd take away a lot from it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Let's wrap it up. Right, we'll connect again. Yep. Sweet as. Okay, boys. Yes, sir. This is about the fourth time we've ended the podcast. I know. <laughs> Somebody said somebody's starting a drinking game, and fucking every time we say we're going to go, they should take a shot. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Okay, oh, guys. God. See you later. Big love. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.